Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, I think I'm about one minute late. Not too shabby. Hello, everyone. It's Christmas. Nearly. How are you? <laughs> so, this awesome chat. No music at the moment of time, but hopefully, no issues with this stream. Hopefully, all the problems are going to be rectified. Hello. Is it in shot? That will do. Hello, everybody. Let's see this awesome chat. Hello to Karen Roberts. Hi, hi. Hope you are well. Hello, Swedish House Amiga. Hi Jamie, Jasper and all great Amiga dudes in the chat. In fact, Jasper has just this minute got out there. He was behind the green screen. Hello to uh, Andrew Dubline, good to see you. Hello chat, good to see you. Always good to see you. Oxo good. Hello, good evening folks. Lord Infinity, hello buddy. Good to see you. Gumjo, hello John, hope you're well. Johnny Cribs, good to see you too. How are you all doing? Bonsai! I haven't seen it for a while, have I? Bonsai! There you go. Hello to David Jensen. Hello. Erleds, mate, great to see you. It's always been difficult for you because he works on a Friday. But of course now he's on holiday, like me, so you can join us. Great to see you, buddy. Hello to Erleds. Uh, Darren. Hello, Darren. Hello, Daz. Good evening, Jamie. Evening, Jasper. Merry Christmas to you. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. It's actually what? Where are we? Are we? The 17th. I'm losing track of days. 17th of December. Um, and just blind, hope you're well, buddy. Uh, Quagers, good to see you, Quagers. Evening all, evening stream, hello. Santa Morgan, sort of. I don't have a beard, though. Nah, uh, I don't like, I don't, don't suit me. Don't suit me. Hello to Daz, good to see you. Hi ho, ho. Hello, everybody. Good to see you guys. Okay, Jasper's a shy star. He's not really. I think he just gets, because I'm talking too much, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, this one. I played last year. Now I've written them all down because I cannot fit them all on the post of this video. Holiday Lemmings, we've got to play some Holiday Lemmings at some point on a Christmas stream. Now we're also going to play Coco Banana, which I have streamed the original game, but this is the Xmas version. Uh, Santa Escape is a fairly newish game. Santa Rock is a fairly newish game from the creators that did Turbo Tomato. Uh, Super Delivery Boy, I streamed a very early version. That was the original game. This is the Holiday Shift, which I believe is also in the works. It's a demo, basically. Santa Run, which was created by Mr. Graham Cowie, the awesome Graham Cowie and his amazing team. He done it in seven days. Came out last year. I'm also going to play Turbo Santa, which I believe also might be a demo, I'm not sure. But it is new. That's, that's one thing I'm absolutely certain on. Uh, Any more, if I've forgotten, we'll play as well. But of course, they're all going to be Christmas related games today. Hope you are all well, people. Hope the sound is okay. There's not going to be any blipping today. Not going to be any echoing today. But then I can't hear what you're hearing, really, can you? It's crazy, isn't it? Faz, it's gone really, really quick. Really scarily quick. So, can you hear music? Is it loud and clear? Shouldn't be echoing. I've made sure, I've double checked, and hopefully we're all good to go. Uh, can't believe it's new Christmas. It's crazy, isn't it? It's just gone. It's gone, isn't it? Hello to Josh. Good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? Uh, looking forward to your new series coming up on the 23rd. Looking forward to it. Yeah, this year has been very. even stranger than previous year, I think. In a way, I suppose it has been, yeah. I mean, here in the UK, we're not going to talk about it very much anyway, but yeah, things are quite bad over here. Um, I, however, I've got my booster, and I've got it on Christmas Eve. What a time to have it, right? But I suppose I do need to have it. Hello to all Hell the King, Hello to King Arthur, good to see you. Time flies so quickly, it does indeed. Sound is perfect, thank you Edge to Blind, good to see you buddy, hope you're well. Mr Spud is here as well, sound is good, thank you David Jensen, and also thank you David Jensen and Michael Jensen for a very kind donation the other day, really kind of you. Thank you. Michael McCartney, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? How's life treating you? Hope it's all well. Hope it all went good. Right, I've got two drinks on the go, two cups of tea, and a soft drink. Amazingly, though, even though I'm on the early shift, I haven't dozed off once today. I've been active. Okay, so in this game, we had the choice of Rudolph or Mr. Santa Claus. You might see quite a few Santa Clauses on today's games. You're getting boosted tomorrow, no side effects. Well, hopefully no for you, and hopefully no for me, and hopefully no for everyone else. I don't know many people that had bad symptoms from a booster. It was either the first jab or the second jab. I had it really, really bad, the first jab, the second jab, nothing at all. So I reckon it'd be like that, hopefully so, but we've got to have it done. It's very, <laughs> it's crazy over here in the UK. Right, we're going to be Rudolph, because you can see a lot of Santa Claus is not many you Rudolphs. Sounds good, wish you the best, Lord of Infinity. Had your boosters today? Sort of, but that all is worth it. Good, hope you're well, buddy. Good start, Jimmy. <coughs> I need choked. Right, now this one I have played last year. 
Well, hopefully, this is a better version. Right, we're going to put a question on. We're going to start off with the... We'll go for the console question. What was the first computer console you received as an Xbox present? Now, this game is timed, uh, but you don't see the time on the screen. Basically, it's Christmas related. Presents. It's all about presents. Now, in this game, one of the few games of those lists, you can actually fire a gun. I love the sound effects, I love the way it looks, I love the way it plays. Collect the present and take it to the entrance, but in this case, is an igloo. Is it an igloo? It is an igloo. Short of three igloos. First and second jazz were awful for you. Boots are much better, but. Oh, yeah, your jaws was ready. Already, Mr. Spud. At work, half the guys on transporting was home today, third jab. How's work been for you, Swedish House? Hope it's been okay. So yeah, what is your first ever console or computer that you received, not given, received as a Christmas present? Now, ours... We got our CC4 in 1987, it took me years to realise that, and I'm assuming it was Christmas. I'm assuming so, I was too young to realise, but I'm assuming it probably was. So I'm going to say it was that one. If it wasn't that one, then yes, it's definitely going to be the Amiga, which I got on Boxing Day. You heard it all for 1989. Right, we've got two more presents to find and deliver. The problem with this game is the enemies that appear on the screen, especially when you've got a entrance to an igloo so close to the screen. So yeah, if you're delivering a parcel, something will arrive on the scene like a bouncing snowman, and yeah, it'll take you away. Pick up a penguin. Right, um, get Booster's booked early, Jan here, hoping everyone gets no side Hopefully no one does get any side effects. But yeah, like I say, it's absolutely insane here in the UK. But anyway, I'm now on holiday. I'm not working anymore this year until the 6th of January. I've actually extended it by two more days, because I was told from my boss uh, last week that when we return on the 4th, there's not actually a lot of work for us. So if you want to put some more holiday, you can. So I've got two, two more additional days. Because I want to have a break. I deserve a break. We all do. So yeah, time to catch up on videos and that sort of thing. Right, we're going to have the two goes of this one. But yeah, don't pop your balloon. And this enemy here, which is a penguin, you cannot kill. You have to avoid it all costs. But this game is timed. And if you take too long, it won't kill you. But what will happen is the time enemy will arrive on the scene. It's one of those ones. But each level has a different quantity of presents, so take them all to the exit. But you can take a few hits until your bubble balloon pops. Alright, okay. Man Cave Hobbies, how are you feeling? Man Cave Hobbies has been very poor, he's been in the hospital again. How are you feeling, buddy? I hope you're okay. Good to see you. Hope you're resting. Uh, right, two more. There's one. Be quick about it. Presents arrive everywhere. There you go. Here we go. Head to exit door, which is a swirling sort of thing. So let's get your answers. What was your first console or computer? Amiga for you, Mr. Smith's house. High five for that. Uh, Atari 2600 for Andrew DeBlind. Atari Zegs for Erlent. I'm hearing reports of more people having side effects from the booster than they were having their first jabs. That's not a good sign for me having it on Christmas Eve. Ness for Josh Torton. Johnny Cribbs, Zenex Spectrum. First computer was the Vic 20 for Daz Gamer. Avoid the lorry, Jamie. Gumbio is the Amiga, the good old Amiga. Uh, good evening all, hope you're well buddy. Hello Heath. Uh, good evening all, never see the computer as a gift. No, have you? Knew? Have you? Have you? You must have given one as a gift, have you? To your son maybe? Well, that's true actually, yeah, I suppose some people will have and some people will haven't. But yeah, we've been very lucky in our lives, we really have. Uh, this one, you can't blow up the lorry, believe it or not. But you can destroy the UFO and get run over by a truck. We are now in Egypt, so now we're delivering presents to pyramids, as you do. Right, hurry up. One more to go, and we should be good to go. This game, I don't think, has boss battles. I haven't got far in it, though. I do like it, though. There we go, top left corner. Uh, Conversation 4 for you, 1988. It was one year after we. It was the Hollywood pack. Yes, that was quite a popular pack, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, I can only name a few of them though. Indiana Jones was there, wasn't it? Uh, Platoon, possibly. Um, possibly Navy Seals. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I can't think of any Predator. Was Predator there? Good to see you, buddy. But yeah, a few of my friends had it, but I have to admit, I can't a blur what ones were on it. Untouchables? Don't know. I'm gonna stop there in case I embarrass myself. Right, we have another enemy we can't kill. Quite a lot of this game, there's a lot of enemies you can't kill. Have they like, your balloon? It's fine. How many lives have we got? One. I don't know if you can get additional lives along the way. Maybe. 
the presence. There we go. But yeah, the biggest problem is not only is enemy you can't kill, the time limit is also bad, but yeah, enemies are driving from each side of the screen, but they're close to each side of the screen. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a time limit before they arrive on the scene, which are some sort of suns, like the ones you get in the sky. There, be quick about it. Where's it? Oh, right on top of it. Have some of that. You're good, thanks. Remember the Commodore 16? I've never played a Commodore 16. Got that for Xmas. Aliens and Pyramids. Xmas is close. Yes. Bomb Jack. Uh, yeah, a little bit, little bit like Bomb Jack. Yes. Not played the original Bomb Jack in a very long time. Which reminds me, I must pre-order the Bomb Jack Beer Edition box. We've got it until January to do it. Um, right, now we got rocks. You know, look at like meatballs. Swedish meatballs, but yes, avoidable cough. I think, I think we can shoot them. Only one door here, though. Right, okay. Boom! Oh, lord. Fourteen! My lord, that's a lot of presents. Right. Right. Have you also... Oh, Platoon! Yes, Great Escape, Rambo, of course, Mine Advice, how did I not remember those? Christmas is yours. Got that for Christmas. ZX80 for you. No, in Man Cave Hobbit, it's probably still sealed, I expect. Um, never seen a console or a computer for Christmas. What consoles or computers, Mr. Spud, is your son into? He must be a gamer, surely. Batman, of course. Yes, of course. Oh, Jingle Bells, Batman Smells. Uh, Robin laid an egg or something like that, wasn't it? I remember that from school, or parts of it anyway. I would say Balloon Fight. Yes, a little bit like that. Yes. Hmm. Which I didn't play in the other days. None of my friends had that in the other days. Anyway, I hope you're all well, people. How you how you been? How's your week been? How's this really, really fast week gone for you? What are you doing this weekend? What's happening? First console for you, Das Gamer, was the PlayStation One. Oh, really? You, you started quite late. Uh, he plays Minecraft on Switch a lot and GT6 on PS4 a lot. Minecraft, yeah, there, there was some sort of post, wasn't there? I saw it on YouTube. It's reached one trillion views or 100 trillion views basically hello rusty james who's coming on a boat <laughs> hello everybody sail away sail away good to see you um yeah apparently all minecraft videos combined has breached breached a grand total of one trillion 100 trillion basically it's crazy isn't it now i haven't i do have it but i haven't played it much but yeah that is one of the most played i think games ever i think it's actually it's a phenomenon isn't it well, so happy to be here, considering I lost my life three weeks ago, mate. Yeah, I know. Mate, I wish you, we all wish you a full speed of recovery. Yeah, that, that, when you told me that on Messenger, I couldn't believe what I was reading. Mate, get well soon, please. Um, have you got to go back at all? Any more checks? Um... Uh, platoon Great... I've not played Great Escape. I don't think I have. No. There wasn't there a Hollywood pack for Atari as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yacht stole funny in this game. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Aliens and Pyramids Xbox is close. How you doing, Rusty James? He's been in on a nice cruise, and yesterday he put up a lovely picture of him and his wife Dee in Paris, in front of the Eiffel Tower. I have been there a very long time ago. Hello, Costa Scatsy, to Greece. Good to see you, Jamie. Breathe, man. Breathe. Dodgy Signal at Sea, you are, I think you're probably the first person that's ever been on my live stream who's currently on a boat. So that's a first for you, and definitely a first for Morgus Games. Good to see you. Dodgy Signal at Sea, just wanted to say hi. Mate, it really means a lot, thank you. Really enjoyed the two player R type dimensions. I played it once, that was online, with a friend I used to work with when I was in Ipswich. How are you, Daz Gamer? Good to see you, by the way. Right, we have one more go, because that was a bit rusty, considering I was trying to say hello to everyone and read your comments and answers and that sort of thing. So, have we got any bar humbugs among us? There's got to be some here, surely. Uh, I don't hate Christmas. I think we, I love Christmas. Just Christmas isn't, isn't, of course, the same anymore, is it? It's more for the younger generation, isn't it? But, again, it's going to be a bit quiet for me. I'm going to be on my own for most of the morning, and I'm going to see my mum and my stepdad. Help cook dinner. Unfortunately, Jasper's going to be here on his own. I can't take him with me because Mum's got two more cats, and they're going to be an absolute fight. So we can't do that. So I'll probably just stay around there till about eight in the evening. That's when the, the poo TV starts, which I'm not going to be interested in. And I'll come back and see how Jasper is, give him his food, 
And that's it, Christmas would be over, wouldn't it? Right, one more go, it would be Santa Claus this time. Also heard about Minecraft on radio, really? I've never heard of radio before. Yeah, I bought it when I was actually, I bought it in Ipswich, I bought it from Argos. And I played it too many three times, I really couldn't get into it. I, I understand what you got to do, I understand why it is a phenomenon. <laughs> But it, it didn't grow on me, that one. But maybe I should give it another try. Uh, I wasn't sure about it. Then stream the night away. Um, people logging in everywhere for Jamie's stream. Thank you. It's, it's cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it. So yes, people from all over the world. It's fantastic. I mean, this is, this is my social life. I don't see many people these days, considering all this pandemic going on. So yes, I'm talking to you all over the world. It's great to see. I love it. Right, one more go, we've got another uh, game. Yes, I saw that, yes, I, I think you just messaged me on Messenger, I was going to send that to you, but of course I knew he was on a boat. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't think I got any of them right, considering that those last ten anyway, I don't think I got any of them right. There was a lot of surprises, but I'm not surprised that Psygnosis wasn't picked, I wasn't surprised that Factor 5 wasn't picked. Uh, but I suppose a little bit of me, it's still a little bit surprised that Lemmings wasn't picked, I know that's Psygnosis and DMA Design. Because of course the mini has the has the mouse. That'd been a very good game to include as a an opening game with a really good mouse. There we go. They did pick can fodder, I think. Did they pick can fodder? They picked worms, didn't they? Which is no surprise. But yeah, I didn't pick stunt car racer. In fact, the last five I was nowhere nowhere near. You have a super catheter installed, basically a wee bag. Oh, my lord, buddy. You have been through a lot, you really have. Right, back to the uncannable penguin. Again, so the enemy is on the sea, that was really close to the edge. So yeah, and you can't fire at a big, big rate of fire. So once the enemy has been shot, or the bullet goes off the screen, they can fire again. So yeah, so you're obviously for a biscuit at times. Also, you do get other icons arriving on the scene, and in this case, a... So put him, if you're not a fan of, you get 10,000 points. 200 points for that one. Enemies will spawn, but not as often as other games. Let's just keep this penguin at bay. Don't know why I'm shooting him, you can't kill him. You can kill a snowman. Alright. is running out. Hope you're well, Josh. How's the family, by the way? Dodgy signal, though, sadly, can hardly watch the stream. Oh, really? You don't get seasick, do you? <laughs> for a moment, I thought, I thought you said my stream was bad. I was going to cry. No, I shouldn't be having any issues now, but yeah, mate, I totally understand. They also, you might notice this game is, is blipping slightly. It's not the stream, it's not my computer. This game it does that. In fact, this is the second version I've tried, and all of them do it. So it's not an issue with the stream, it's not an issue with YouTube or anything like that. Yeah, it's just one of those things, I suppose. Alright, so we've got to do seven more presents. Uh, whoa! Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, I can't read that. Hold on a minute. For that. Unfortunately, it just, it, there's no time limit. Well, there is a time limit in between levels, but yeah, unfortunately, I can't pause it. You don't get a lot of time in between stages to catch up on read, reading traps. Well, we're doing better this time. There's a trophy. You got 1,000 points for a trophy. That you got. Oh, poo! Less points for a trophy than you do for a Christmas pudding. Hold on a minute. Poo! It's going so well! Did I jinx it? You better believe it, I jinxed it. Hurry up! I really did jinx it, didn't I? How could it change so quickly? Uh, uh -oh. oh, I smell trouble. I think the suns will turn all remaining enemies like that. That's fine. Make a run for it. We'll fly for it in this case. 27 worldwide videos, thank you. Cosca actually having a few tipples too. Ho ho ho. Is anyone drinking? Anyone drinking? Uh, me will do more or less and same soon. Okay. Killer Santa, yes. Santa can, can be, uh, yes. Is this a different level? It's the one I did first time. I think it is. What did you deliver to? The window? Oh, a different level. Okay, I'm guessing Santa Claus has different levels. We're delivering presents to the window. What happened to good old ch ch chimneys, hey? Eh? Again, avoid the truck. Destroy the UFO. Deliver the presents. 
four to go. I cannot get that one. Look at that, time it. it's over in a flash. Love the sound effects, love the music. Um, oh dear, four to go. Merry Christmas. Hold on a minute, i catch up on the chat. Oh, chat in a minute. 16k, Specky, I'm looking forward to getting the Spectrum in the future. Absolutely so. I'll be in the Spectrum Club. Right, you cannot shoot. We can shoot, but you cannot kill the suns. I suppose it makes it easier because enemies don't keep us spawning on the size of the screen. Uh, urgent anyone who has the UK driving license, make sure it's in date. I've been fined 1,000 for not reviewing it. I'm going to appeal. My lord, really? Well, it's funny you say that because I actually did send off for my one back in June. And I'm still waiting. It's a really, really long wait. And I knew it was going to be a long wait. I wasn't expecting it to be that long. You've been fined. You've been poorly. What's going on? It's so ridiculous. It's like one of my friends at work, he's he's going to Ireland for, for Christmas to see his parents and uh, because it's Christmas time, it said it cost him like triple the cost it would normally cost him to get a plane to Ireland. It's like 2,000 for three of them and normally it would be a lot like half of that, maybe even less than that because it's Christmas, they up the prices. It's ridiculous. He wants to go see his family, why you got charged him an absolute bomb? It's ridiculous. But anyway. Well, hopefully you'll win your claim, buddy, because, you know, you've been poor, you've been in hospital. Um, that's ridiculous. Hurry up. Oh, dear. Okay. And I believe you can actually hold... Whoa! More than one present at a time, I believe. Alright, hold on. Uh-oh. Right, that's fine. Can't, there's no point firing here, there's nothing to fire at. Because we can't kill these dudes. Right. There we go, those moments. Hold on a minute. Uh, I am having a can of Bex. Do you know what? I have got one beer in the fridge. It's been there for about two weeks now. I haven't drunk it yet. I won't drink it today because I'll be off my trolley. I'm drinking green tea and lemon hardcore. You, you are. How are you doing? Not so good, by the way. Hope you're well. Always good to see Whoa, what's that? Always good to see you. Jamie eating problems most of Wednesday night. Yes, I heard about the problems. It wasn't with Virgin Media though, but I heard there was issues with Twitch. A lot of people stream on Twitch and there was issues with that. Amazingly though, touch wood, my Virgin Media's been alright. Right, now some of the games are on CF card, some of them on WHD Load, and some of them on our good old floppy disk, as I did last night. Um, right, I've got another question on a minute. Let's go for the letter question while I'm doing this. Why not? We're up to let L now. <laughs> I think I know what some of them might be here. What are your top three of me games, beginning with the letter L? Not L for loser, no. Uh, right, I can't even spell my name, Jamie. That's why I'm in, isn't it? Um, uh, catch will empty now. Can will empty now. Jess will drink it. He's got to go in the fridge and get it first. <clears throat> yeah, Jesper's had a few fights recently. Not bad ones, but yeah, I've had to break up a few. Most of them happened on my front doorstep. There was one this yesterday. They wasn't fighting or growling. They were just sitting there looking at each other. Make or move creep. It was like, you know. But yeah, the trouble is, when he gets to a fight, and hopefully he won't anymore, he tends to lose. He can't really defend himself, but he likes to, he likes to get involved, doesn't he? Right, so this one is actually on a disc. So I'm going to put that to one side. I want to get my disc in the mix. Um, yeez, that mental. Was three weeks out of date. Is that all? Three weeks? That's mental. I've been waiting since June for mine. Um... It's just got under again. Already har harpooned it with three barrels. We will have a look. Sounds interesting at Josh. Um, I've been paid to catch a shark. But I think I'm going to need a bigger boat. Be careful with sharks. I know David Jensen isn't a fan of sharks. Be careful. Lemmings could appear. I reckon it probably will. Right, what do you want to see? We'll play some lemmings later. But we're going to got Cocoa Banana... Santa Escape, Santa Rocks, Delivery Boy, The Holiday Shift, Santa Run, and Turbo Santa. I'm going to go for 
um, Santa Run. Now what I've got to do here is make sure I tick them off the list once I'm done. Because a lot of these are quite similar. They've all got Santa in their name. Well, most of them have anyway. So we've played Santa and Rudolph, and we're going to play Santa Run, which came out in the year 2020. So look at your answers. Okay. Now this is also disc. Yes, and hopefully it'll work. I tested it last night. I created it last night. It should work. Hopefully it'll work. <clears throat> Who makes resolutions? Does anyone do resolutions? Um, did a Valum Man kit set on holiday music? Yeah, I saw that. Your tree. That is a tree I would have room for. Um, New Year's resolution is to visit you, Jamie, for a long weekend. That's fantastic. Lemmings. Only one I can think of right now. Leeds United. Heath, you're Leeds, aren't you? Do you support Leeds United? I know you're in Leeds. This has fantastic music. It really is good. Logical is fantastic. Legend of Karanji. I've never played it, but I've heard of it. And Lethal Excess. That's good, but difficult. Laser Squad, Laser Larry Shoot Larry and Lemmings. Lotus for King Arthur. Learner Tempest and Lethal Weapon. I've got that. That is really good. I've got a version of that. You hate sharks. Hopefully you won't see any sharks on today's list. If you see sharks in the Christmas game, something's not quite right there. Um, yeah, this was created by Mr. Graham Cowie, who of course did uh, Bomb Deck Beer Edition, Turbo Sprint, Rygar, and he's also working on another one which is very nearly done. In fact, it's at the pre-ordering stage as well. It looks fantastic. But he did this in seven days. Merry Christmas to all you retro fans. Coding and design the Geezer, aka Graham Cowie. Pixels, Tenshu, Audio, DJ, Michun. Left for easy, right for hard. On the subject of football, Swedish House, I've heard from work that quite a few games have been cancelled this weekend due to COVID. That's crazy, isn't it? Lotus 3, Lotus 2, Lemmings 2. Good games, all of them. Uh, I can't remember looking at links in magazines and thinking how good it looked, but it was very expensive in the shop and never came across them by other means. Leads is a joke. I was, so, I was, do you know what? Yes, there is a game, isn't there? There's one on the PlayStation 2. They went through a bit of a phase. You had the Leeds, the Leeds game, the Aston Villa game, the Man U game, believe it or not. Arsenal, I think they all had them, pretty much. Yeah. My mate Jeff, good to see you. We lost 7-0 to Man City. Oh my lord. Well, let's get rid of that, Jamie. Uh, I think my one's logical. And uh, Andrew Bly, I absolutely agree with you. Uh, Lemmings, of course, has got to be up there. Um... I have, to think of, I have to think of my third one. We're going to go left. We're going for easy first. Get ready, Santa. Woo wee! Right, so it's basically a little bit like Paperboy, in a way. We've got to deliver the presents. Now, you've got to try and drop the presents into the chimney. You don't have to, but if you can, it will get you a bonus points. Uh, but the music is sensational. But we have these elf jumps, which is limited. How you doing, my mate Jeff? Leaderboard, Leander, and Led Storm. Uh, Lotus 2, Lemmings, Leaderboard again. Sunday Run is pretty cool. It's good, isn't it? Almost all Premier League matches cancelled. All of them. Blimey. 14, sorry, 19 football games have been cancelled. That's crazy. Stream quickly skipped for you, but probably just my internet. It could, it could be the game. It could be... The, I don't think it's the PC. I don't think it's the Amiga. Right, go again. Hound Doggy, good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Want to have a stab at that question? Right, I've got to try and remember the controls. Right, fire is a jump. Left and right to throw, left and right presence. How you doing, Hound Doggy? Right. Cold left. Right, fire for jump, Jamie. Fire for jump. Okay. You don't have to go for every single chimney, but what you must do is make sure you land firmly on the ground. In this case, is people's rooftops. Anywhere else, you're going to fall off and you're fall to your death. If you're not going to make the jump successfully, use the elf jump, but they are limited. Um, but try and keep your feet firmly on the rooftops. <clears throat> That's a really good game, I love it. Not a long game, though. Hope you're well, Rusty James, by the way. When do you come back? Are you back tomorrow, are you? Hope you had a good time. Hope you're having a good time. You deserve it, you indeed. Merry Christmas to you too, Hound Doggy. Good to see you, buddy. Always good to see you. Happy, happy Christmas to you, Rusty James, as well. Happy Christmas to all of you. Every one of you. 
The ender is superb. Mr. Spud loves that one too. Can't say sadly, single two weeks. Just wanted to wish everyone a happy Christmas. Enjoy the stream and awesome people. You too, Rusty James. And say hello to D for me. Gumbio, Lemmings, Leander, Lion. Oh, Lionheart. What a game that is. That is fantastic. Didn't play any other days, but I remember it was requested on stream by Lee Robertson. And Lee Robertson, I believe, was the first subscriber of the channel. And yeah, he requested this game, and I thought, I've never heard of this game. I watched the program in the other days. But what a game. It's superb. And that's not to everyone's tastes. Uh, I know some people didn't like the music. I think it's brilliant. I think I can't fault that game. Slam the reindeer on that like button. Thank you. Right, go again. It's not Jamie. It's not even shot. You pillock. The. Uh, it's one of those games. Once you once you learn the controls, it's it's. it's a, Bit of a habit. You keep thinking you're gonna press left and right to jump left and right, but no, it's actually fire to jump left and right. Uh, it's gonna be Christmas themed games today. Lionheart is definitely not Christmas, but of course, requests for future streams are always welcome. I did a long play of it, but that was a very long time ago, and yes, you've heard it all before. I'm gonna redo it. I wanna redo it, because I don't like my earlier stuff. Now, if you get a parcel in the chimney in quick succession, your points go up each time you, you make your targets. And I think it's to a maximum of thousands. I think that's the end. Or well, close to the end. Don't fall off the end. You can also throw parcels in the air, not just on the, on the people's rooftops. Close. I love the graphics too, it is superb. There we go, I think that's it. There you go, boom pow. Um, Merry Christmas, Rusty Dude, exactly. Um, I don't know yet, that's gamer. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, a few people have said, am I going to do a Christmas Eve stream? I might do. I'll keep you posted. There we go, well done, you just completed the game. No children will be without toys this Christmas. Thanks for your hero, rock, ick. But Santa was created in seven days for Leo as a gift from his dad. What a cool thing to do. Christmas Lemmings, we'll be playing that today. We've got to play some Christmas Lemmings. I didn't play it last year. I do generally like the game, but I didn't live up to the intro screen. What one was that? Lionheart? Are you referring to? Love it for the... <laughs> I know what you're referring to. Leander, yes. It's his sword. It is his sword. However, you think it's something else. I feel a total letdown, it's on its way, Jamie. I feel, oh, I feel a total lockdown, it's on its way, Jamie. Oh, is it? I'm not surprised, buddy. I'm not surprised at all. Yander, I know, yes. Yeah, I'm not surprised, uh, Heath. Not surprised at all. Yeah, I've been seeing other people's streams that have been mentioning it, but yeah. Crazy, isn't it? I don't think it's going to go as far as furlough, I don't think so, but yeah, working from home if you can, I can't, at the moment I am, I don't work until the 6th, but yeah. That would be great if you did, Jamie. What's that, mate? Oh, I see the stream. I'll, I'll try, buddy, I'll try. Love the Christmas game, follow that Insensible Soccer Games, which I did long play, yes, I did, both of them. Quagas, yeah, brilliant. Hi, SQ Ron, good to see you. Hope you're well. Hope you're well too, buddy. Leander, yes. Um, right, have one more go. Now, if you do the hard difficulty, um, you have limited elf jumps. Easy, you have ten. Hard, you have five. It's very easy to make a mistake there, because yeah, some of the situations you have to use, well, unless you're an expert like Mr. Graham Cowie, like that one, I wasted three there, but I had to, I was going to cause my death. Hope you are us through wrong, good to see you. Wagers, how's life treating you, buddy? Hope you're well. What are you doing this weekend? Lost Patrol, Legends. Legends. Have I played that? I don't recall that one. Lost Patrol, I played that. I wasn't very good at it, though. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm thinking the right one, that is. Jamie, you, 
must move that microphone out of the way. Uh, well, it's another one wasted. Another one wasted. Six rain. I'm guessing the inspiration was Paperboy on this one. Had to be. 400? 500. Back to 100. Had to. Had to. 200. 400. Done it. I'll have to watch. I'll have to watch that after the stream, uh, Man Hate Hobbies. Yeah, I'm guessing Boris is talking about it right now. I'm assuming. But yeah. Well, if it happens, it happens. It sucks. It's gonna happen. If it's gonna, yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But yeah, the um, the the numbers are rising all the time. I don't watch it daily. I have to admit, it depresses me. Jamie, move that out of the way. You're blocking. You're blocking your. There you go. There you go. You see it better now. Legend is by Mindscape. Isometric Drunk and Crawl at RPG sort of game. I'll be terrible at it then. Gumjo, do you work from home? In fact, who, he who here on this chat is still working from home? Yes, I'll be doing a unboxing for that. Yeah, me and Rusty James have bought one. I don't know who else. I'm hey, if you have, has anyone else bought one? Or pre ordered one in this case? Mike Crow, you got one of you? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice impressive list. I have to admit, there are a lot of surprises there. Oh, Michael Carter, you're still working from home. Good to see you, by the way. You work from the garage. I don't have a garage. I need a bigger house, though. One more. Mate, same as me. I wish I could, too. I can't make cosmetics from home. Can't do it. I don't have a lot of space anyway. Can you imagine that? All my space be filled up by cosmetic machines. Oh, poo. Was there not a lemming? There is. There is. Well, it's called it's called a holiday lemmings. But yes, we must be playing that today. Yes, I have got a box version of it now as well. Hello, just Sean. Good to see you. I'd love to work from home. I'd be very happy with that. Yes, I live in a very small house, but I would love to work from home. I wouldn't get that luck, no way. I don't work in offices. How is Sean today? Alright, let's try and go for the maximum. 200. 300. 400. 500. You don't work from home, no? 600. 700. 800. I get paid on Monday. Woohoo! Oh, I missed it. Looking forward to that. 100, 100, 200, 300, 400, yeah you're good, pleased to hear it. Five elf jumps remain. Anyone just tuning in? This is Santa Run, came out in the year 2020. We'll be playing some lemmings today, yes, of course. And the people playing a lot more new games first. Yes. Yes, we played it today. Yes, of course you will. Working from home is amazing. I'm sure it is. No, sorry, I thought you meant work from home. Oh, yes. Yes, I was saying that. Yes. But I'm getting a major twist, which is no surprise with me. Right, now another game. That was also on floppy disk. Do you want to see Christmas Lemmings now? Or do you see it later? Let me know. I'll tell you what, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. So quite a lot of people are requesting it now. We'll do it now. Um, I was a lemming once. My avatar... Yes, I saw that. Yeah, it was It was that, wasn't it? I remember. That's not the Bruce Forsyth impression, even though he does do that. But yes, it was that, wasn't it? Yeah, that one. Yeah, you changed it. Now you've got an eyeball. Pardon me. Right, this one is on the CF card. Uh, and I won't do many levels, but we'll do some levels. Now, this one is in the L folder, I believe. Uh, which is a bit all over the place, I have to admit. Uh, not yet, not yet, but the R9 is there. I can see it right from here. Yes, it's fantastic. And the Gallagher is just there. I just need to put it on the wall, but yes, I will do. 
Absolutely so. It's fantastic. Yeah, love it. Oh, sorry, Miss Sweetness. I'll do it. <laughs> sorry. What do you many levels, though? How's life treating you, Sweetest House? I know I've heard from you quite a lot today, uh, this week, but how are you doing in the elf folder? Um, could always write the code down and come back to it later, can't we? Erlent, I'm not going to say yes, I'm not going to say no. Uh, at the moment of time, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. If I can get some ideas together, maybe so. Maybe no, and who knows? Uh, is Liam or Noel Gallagher? I like what you've done there. I like what you've done there. <laughs> now this I had as a demo the other days, but yeah, it took me till this year to finally get myself a box version. And of course, you know me very well, it's mint. It's mint. If I didn't buy one that's mint, there would be something wrong with me, no, wouldn't there? Uh, I'm okay, thanks. Not been much... No, I haven't been much on there recently. But then sometimes I go on there and there's nothing really happening. So yeah, it's, it's, it's different sometimes, isn't it? Right. Pretty self-explanatory. They need to climb. This one, you've got to rescue all of them. Just climb, that's all you've got to do. We're going to go a little bit more fast pace. Uh, I bet Jamie knows how to do each and every level anyway. Oh, this, I've never completed this before. Never completed it before. Is it loud enough? Let me know if it needs a bit of a tweak. It should be okay. I teach secondary school computer science. How about yourself, Lord of Infinity? Yeah, what do you do for a living, buddy? Uh, we'll be just not fit on the list. Yeah, I can't fit them all one. Yes, it's, it's ridiculous. There's too many for the... Uh... Is it 100, is it? I didn't know that. Of course, you don't get quite as many... Um... Difficulties, do you? Right. Umbrellas. But yeah, some people call it Christmas lemmings, some people call it Xmas lemmings, some people call it holiday lemmings. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? I, I, it's, I suppose it's, you know, we get them now as well. Uh, I mean, the, the game we'll be playing later on, Turbo Santa, is basically the Christmas version of... Turbo Tomato, and of course, Cocoa Banana, it's just called Cocoa Banana Xmas. So yeah, it's the same game, just with an Xmas twist. There are quite a few like that, it's great to see they're doing that as well. And of course, back in the older days, I missed those days when it was on the front covers of magazines, it was good to see, loved that. But yes, the Cannon Soccer, uh, the All-Terrain Racer, Sing, do you know what, I've been saying All-Terrain Racer for years, All-Terrain Racing, isn't it? Yeah, there was one for that, there was also the Fire and Ice, which I've long played as well. Yeah, this game could have done a little bit more tunes, it doesn't have enough tunes, so should we say the tunes aren't long enough, but of course they didn't loop round, don't they? Have you s yes, it looks good, doesn't it? It really does look good, yes, for those of you who don't know, Sonic the Hedgehog is going to be on the C64, it looks absolutely marvellous. Uh, and what I like about it is not only looks superb and sounds fantastic on the C64, but it's also a port of the Master System, which is my favourite version. I love the Master System version. So, yeah, I'm really, really tickled pink for that. That's going to be really fantastic. But yeah, it's blowing people away, which is no surprise, really. It's all over the internet. Yeah, do you know what? All terrain, I've been saying all-terrain racing for years. Um, but there's actually a tournament going on at the moment of time on Me Alive. And I keep looking at that and thinking, Jamie, why do you keep saying racing? It, or racer? It's racing. Well, I bought that originally as a box from HMV. Good old snow course, true, yes. Sonic would be great, that'd be yum, looking forward to it, that'd be fantastic. I'm not surprised, I mean, it's for a 30th anniversary, but of course, the season 4 had the Mario game. Which, of course, did cause a bit of an issue. I think the creators said that someone blocked it eventually. I don't know. But, yeah, I've got it. I did a long play of it. did it quite quickly, actually. Couldn't wait to play it. So I suppose I'm not surprised. And, of course, it ties in with the new Sonic 2 trailer film, which also does look really good. Really good. Uh, do you remember where you to jump in those once? Well, I, I played that for three days. <laughs> yeah. It was difficult, it was a really difficult long play to do, but like pushover, because you have those tokens and there's no score or anything like that, if you make a mistake, you just start again. Because you have that start again function, it was just like, you've tried that, that didn't work, try this, write a few notes down, yeah. But some of those, it was really testing the old brain box, trying to remember those uh, 
puzzles, but I absolutely had a ball with that. I loved it. It's superb. I really enjoyed it. Um. Oh wow, that does look like Unreal. Unreal. Are you watching it? Are you? It's fantastic, isn't it? What an achievement. And his first few, of course, gonna be easiest pie, aren't they? ATR, yeah, I had that. Remember those mags? Wish I never got rid. Yeah. So many of my magazines went as well. I had so... The, the pile was like that. It was huge. And uh, unfortunately, like many things, they went. I didn't have a lot of input in that, though. But, but I am quite lucky as all well, because uh, Mr. Luke Rainford, I don't think he's here yet, has donated quite a lot of them to me. And they're now save as houses. I'm not losing those now. But yeah, it's nice that some of these games also have the snow courses, yeah, and of course snow can be a bit up and down in these games, aren't it? It's cool, especially Pang, for example. Sips slide all over the place. But yeah, snow course, I have got past a couple of times on Lotus 2, but I haven't got past the desert. That's what I'm stuck on now, but I haven't been stuck on that quite as long as I was stuck on Pea Soup. Which of course was the fault, wasn't it? May change again in New Year. Right, you need 90. We got all of them. None died in that one either. Right, Christmas south of the Ecuador. Right, this one, we're going to turn them around and go down this way. We don't want any to fall into the death. Right, so we're going to go here, turn them around. There. Should we good to go now? Uh, I agree, Swedish. A shame they didn't. Bouncing snowman. It's good, isn't it? Some really nice touches, this game. Especially that little dude there. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. I'm Kickstarter 3 and Kickstarter 4. I'm assuming that's Kickstarter 4, but working up to KS5 this year. What's KS? Love teching, and now... What happened there? What's one? Um... And now on three weeks holiday, oh, same as me. Yes, I've got three weeks off as well, pretty much, anyway. Lovely graphics. It's brilliant, isn't it? Really good. Yeah, it blew me away when I first saw this, because, of course, first time we played Lemmings, me and my brother were absolutely addicted to it. Then we got Oh No No More Lemmings not long after that, and then, of course, this arrived on the scene, and now I've got myself box versions of Oh No No More Lemmings, Lemmings, and Christmas Lemmings. It took me some time, and also... Yeah. Another one arriving soon. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, I've also got Lemmings 2 as well. Yes, of course. Unfortunately, I don't have a t-shirt anymore. That went a long time ago. I get worn quite a lot. Uh, it's using your normal Lemmings chipset. Oh, is it? Adapting to... Adapting him a bit. Yeah, I, I thought... I got further in the first Lemmings than I did in Oh No More Lemmings, I think. Peter Steigl, good to see you. Show the Xmas Lemmings box again. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Hello, Peter Steigl. Lemmings 2, yes. <clears throat> yes, I agree, buddy. It is fantastic. Look at that. Absolutely mint. The only thing I, I thought about it is there's no screenshots, no screenshots whatsoever. But I love the fact it's, it looks like a, a parcel, a present. It is fantastic. But yeah, that is absolutely mint, and I'm tickled pink, tickled pink to have that. Um, hello to Lucas Rainford. Good to see you. How is Lucas Rainford? How is Peter Steigl? Merry Christmas to you as well and your family. Haven't seen you for ages, buddy. How are you doing? How's the new job going? Lovely, very mint. It is indeed. Hello, Peter. I don't even call you Peter. I always call you Pete. How you doing? I'm assuming the job is still going well? Yes, I got three weeks off. I'm tickle pink again, buddy. I'm really happy. However, I, I'm a bit tired. It's not gonna... I need a, I need a good night's sleep and I should be alright. I should recharge my batteries. But yeah, after a good night's sleep, then I'm definitely gonna be in holiday mode because today I'm a little bit tired because I did work today. And this week has been busy, but I've been doing something different this week. Brilliant job. You love it. Mate, I'm really happy for you. Really, really happy. Really happy for you. You're a, do you're, you're a diamond. You're, you're, you're like I said, I said it before. You're the only reason why I didn't want to leave that place. That was the only reason why I didn't want to leave. Because you're actually a brilliant dude to work with. And it all started. I remember it very well. Uh, basically, um, 
basically I was picking some orders for customers and I saw Pete walk past me and I heard this ping on his phone it was a sonic wing sound and I said to him oh sonic I like that and that was it he was into retro I was into my retro we got on absolutely fantastic well so yeah that's how our friendship began it's, it's stayed ever since all because of some retro like keep building did anyone see the new Games Master? What did you think? I, I have to admit, I was surprised. I, I thought it was a lot better than I expected. I think three. They probably could have done a little bit more than three. Uh, but I do love the original more because, of course, it's more retro, and that is what I love the best. You know, I want to see more Amiga on it. I want to see Commodore 64 on it, that sort of stuff. But of course, now it's going to be Xbox, PlayStation, that sort of thing. But I was really surprised. I have to admit. Um, Trevor McDonald, I think, played it really, really well. Really impressed. I did, I did chuckle a few times with some of these comments. Yeah, it all came down to a sonic ring tone or notification tone. That was it. And what we was doing over the course of just, just Peter Steigl was in sales and I was picking the orders. So he was making the, the, the sales and I was picking the orders for him. Of course, other people were doing it as well. And while I was picking the orders, or waiting for the next order to come in, I was sending him a text. You know, if he played this game, he heard of that game, and he was always buying games off the work, and he said, I've just bought this, and I've just bought that. It was cool. It was nice to have a, a retro buddy around. It was fantastic. You didn't like it, no? The one bit I didn't like about it, also, was that little boy. I, 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 don't, I don't like all this, I must win sort of ways. You know, that, that little boy, um... He's clearly a very, very good gamer, and he wants to prove that he's a very good gamer by being a big head. I don't like big heads. It should be for fun, not like I, w I will beat you, I'm going to beat you, I'm going to do anything I can, I don't think I will to beat you, and I'm going to beat you. It's for fun. I don't like big heads. His, his head was that so, so big, wasn't it? Apart from that, good. <laughs> so when I saw he was appearing again on the next two episodes, I fast forward that one. We don't want any big headers in here. No. <laughs> big poses, yes. Yeah. Gotta go. Are you going? Are you? Take it easy, Quagus. Take it easy, buddy. Beat Tetsujin, Jamie 7. Jamie 7? Um, I think the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter Challenge were the better ones. Yeah, those were quite close, wasn't they? I wish they played uh, Mortal Kombat 10. I think 10 looks. I still think looks better for me. I haven't played in there though, I've only seen footage. But 10, or XL, which is what I've got, I think looks and plays better. I've heard more positive feedback on that one than I have of 11. But, I would like to get 11 at some point, because of course now we have all characters. <laughs> more sealed ones, yeah? Um, no retro buddies at the hospital, mate, that's, that's, uh, uh, mate, you got to educate them, so they, just say to them, hey mate, I've been working with you for so many years now, I'm going to introduce you to a game called Sensible World of Soccer, we're going to play this, and we're going to enjoy it, and I'm going to make you a retro gamer, you ever played an Amiga? No? We're going to change that right now, come on, and we'll play some retro... Right, we'll do one, maybe two more. Um, I felt it was a bit of a banter. I suppose it's a little bit, a little bit of a banter, I suppose. Right, this one, we've got to dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig down. Uh, you can get stuck here very quickly, but this one's going to do some serious bashing. Um, don't want to bash down too far, though. No, you're wrong way! No, wrong way! That way. Right, this is fantastic, because now I can read the chat absolutely perfectly here. Um, are there any gamers at your workplace with this house that are into games, not necessarily retro? Question to everyone, actually. Have you got any retro gaming friends at work? Do you play online games with anyone at work? Yeah. If I shame you, I've bought impossible mission for my Atari 700 Steel Factory Seal. Mate, where'd you get them from? Should I open it or play it? Well, 
I'll tell you what we do. I'll tell you what we do. Yes, we'll do it this way. Do that quicker. There we go. We'll ask the audience, shall we? Right, a little bit of a. Uh... Whoa, James, what's going on here? What's going on? Whoa. Um. Oh, wrong way. <clears throat> right, more bash. There we go. Sometimes you can get lucky here. Um, right, so yes, I'm going to put a poll on the, on the screen there. So yes, you've got yourself a sealed retro game. Do you open it or do you not open it? Place your bets. You like footy games for this house? I'm not a big football fan. I used to be not a days, but I love playing football games. I've had this conversation quite a lot, but yeah, I don't follow football anymore. <laughs> no pressure though, because this is, this is quite crucial for Mr. Heath. Personally, I wouldn't open it. That's my personal opinion. I would not open it. Because, yeah, I'm a bit of a collector. Get it, UK, if you're here, it's one pound for you. I personally wouldn't open it. At the moment of time, I believe it's 50-50. Yeah. It's difficult because, of course, some people are collectors and some people are not. Some people do emulation, some people don't. Some people just play games but don't collect. It's different all around, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, I love how the music sounds out of tune. A little bit, yeah, it is a little bit. We'll do one more. Um... You actually do. Gamers are all lucky. Some are into football. Oh, that's, that's not too bad then. Not too bad. That'd be bad if you've got friends at work that don't like football or games. That would be unlucky. Right. Right, this one, we need a lot of building. That is for sure. So you've got to go solo on this one. Pretty much. Right, we'll do one more. Last one. Keep it sealed. I think that's probably what's going to happen, but you never know. You never know. But you know what I would do. Lucas Rainford, I hope you're well, buddy. Hope you're well. How's the family? Hope you're all well. Good to see you, buddy. Your school has a retro club. What school do you go to? That's fantastic. I would buy another club. Do you know what? That's, that's quite interesting you say that, Mr. Peter Steigl, because there's actually a video that I'll be doing where I did just that. Yes, I won't go into too much detail though. But yeah, it's nice getting them. TV's gonna turn itself off, which you can't see, only I can. But yeah, sometimes it can be a bit of a problem. But yes, you might have to buy it twice, just to be sure. Right, end, the, end it now. Well! Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. 15 votes. Thank you, people. Got two mouses on the go here. Keep building. All right. Okay. <laughs> Keep it sealed. Not playing that game on the CD4 again, are we? Uh, what's it called? Uh, get chased by a seal. What was that game called again? Right, we're going to have another game. 15 votes. Have a look. Anyway, uh, so... You've got a sealed box. 60% of you would not open it, and 40% of you will. There you go, Heath. Make your choice. But I personally won't open it. Serious multitasking. Yes, I tried my best, buddy. I tried my best. But yeah, I've got myself a few sealed ones now. Not just Amiga, but also PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. And also, I've got one on the CD4 now because Mr. Russia James made a donation. Right, you're good to go, buddy. Just don't blow up the bridge. They did! Oh, that's the worst end! Oh, I don't believe it. You won't open it. There you go. However, I've made a right dog's breakfast of this. 
Diego Herman Pagano, good to see you. From Argentina. I don't have many subscribers from Argentina. You might be the first. That was a terrible, terrible thing. Ah, oh, it's all gone peaked on here. I knew that was going to be close. I knew it was. Oh, no. Never mind. Well, we get some out of it. I don't think it's going to complete the level, though. Good to see you, buddy. You're an Amigian fan. You're going to like it here, buddy. Keep it sealed and play a copy or backup. Good idea. Good idea. Right, we rescued 10. We're going to go another... Yes, yeah, Living Massacre. Right, we're going to go another game. Um, Ghost of Tsushima Tush looks awesome, mind you. I that's PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation Four, isn't it? I know what one you're referring to. I've not played it though. Um, right, so we're gonna go on to um, Santa Escape. This is on the CF card. Uh, he, it's Ernan. The H not heard. Oh, did I pronounce it incorrectly? Maybe. Right, I got this yesterday and it works. One of them doesn't, one of them does. It's not that one, it's got to be that one then. Now some of these windows are gigantic. You've got to go right over there and go right down there to find it. There you go. Right, there we go. Uh, later, you have to play Blizzard levels. Oh, I forgot about that, yeah. Uh, hola, Diego. Jamie, you're off now. Would you like to meet... Mate, I would love to meet up again. That's fantastic. Yes. When? Let me know. I've got a few things happening, but let me know when you're free. Maybe go for a breakfast or something. But yeah, I don't get paid until Monday. I can't do anything until Monday. How is Adrian? Is he alright? I don't hear from him much these days. And of course, he's been through so much as well. Trying to arrange something. Cool. Um, no, he likes games like Ghosts of t t t t I can't pronounce it, mate. I can't pronounce it. You're not going to open it. Woohoo! There we go. Win. Sort of. Um, okay. He has a new job. Oh, does he? Yes, his brother used to work for the same company I work for, but I believe now he doesn't. In fact, I know where he works now, but I'm not going to mention it on stream. But yes. He was a temp, but they did get rid of all the temps, but however, a lot of temps have come back. Some original temps have come back, but a lot of new ones, but he hasn't come back. <laughs> there you go. Uh, put another question on. Thank you very much for the messages. There you go. Um, well, let's go for this question now. What is your favourite Christmas game? It doesn't have to be Amiga, can be whatever you want. Any system. Your favourite Christmas game. Sam M, good to see you. Sir Morgan and the one and all. Even everyone, good to see you. Right, this is, came out in the year 2019. This game was created for an Amos course by Amitten Labs 2019. Merry Christmas to all Amiga community. Mate, I'm really pleased. Really, really pleased you're enjoying it. Really, really pleased. Uh, Home Alone is a classic, isn't it? That's your all-time favourite, yeah? I should have put top three, really, shouldn't I? Do you know what? When I've, I've, I don't know any games on the Mega Drive, Mars System, not, not Christmas ones. I don't know any of them. I, I, Saturn, no. Even PlayStation's a bit of a blur. I can't think of any. But C64, Amiga, I can think of loads. Of course, yes, Robocop was released on so many different systems. But apart from that, if there's any games that are specifically for... Uh, I don't know, GameCube, Dreamcast... Nintendo, Sega Saturn, I, I can't think of any. I really can't. It's a blur. So I'm going to learn quite a lot here. We're going to change it to the top three. What's your favourite top three Christmas games? Axel Folly, how are you feeling, buddy? You've been poorly as well, haven't you? I remember from last stream. How are you feeling now? Right, Santa Escape. Right, judging by its name, you can see what we've got to do here. We've got to escape the dangers. This one could be a cross between Christmas and Halloween, I suppose. I love the music too. Simple idea, but it works. Yes, that's, that's true. That is true. I have got that. I didn't like the second one, though. The bite for the PlayStation 2. I didn't like that one. Yes, I remember now. Yes, Axel Folly, you had COVID, didn't you? You're okay now. Fantastic. 
Block Xmas Season 4. I've not played that one. Not sure I got a favourite Xmas game. Blue Stinger on the Dreamcast is one that comes to mind. But not sure I would say it's my favourite. It's a good point. I'll just say ones you like. <laughs> like. I say of late has to be Spider Man, Miles Morales. I'm struggling to think of old school. Yeah. It's, it's, quite, it's quite difficult. It's like when you're trying to get games ready for a stream. It's not easy. It isn't easy to try and find ones. The trouble is, you want to try and play ones you haven't played before. But one thing which is really fantastic with the media, the CG4, is these little games are coming out every year. New ones. So it's always good to see. Which is why this year, I thought, let's go for some more new games this time. I always be playing the same ones each year. Let's take the same ones again. Uh, me and your brother, yeah? Holiday Lemmings, James Bond 2, and Can Soccer Xmas. Morgan, you are one of the. You are one, sorry, I'll say it again. Morgan, you are the one in all internet who upped a long play from, oh really? Yes, I did. That was a very, very difficult video to do. That game I've been playing for years. Because I love, yeah, I can, I'll show you the box. Mad Balls is fantastic, I love it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's a game that doesn't really get mentioned, but it's absolutely fantastic because I love Mad Balls. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine original ones, and I've got three Mondos. I'll show you as well. Look at the green. And they're sealed, but yeah, that, that's a lot of money there. That's the new ones, and I'm waiting for the new ones to arrive as well. But yeah, a lot of money's worth there, but they are fantastic. But yeah, I'm a big, big, big Mad Balls fan. But yeah, that's, that's great that you've come back. That's fantastic. That was quite some time ago I uploaded that. But yeah, I noticed it wasn't a long play on the internet, or on YouTube, should we say. So yeah, that was fantastic. Great to see you, buddy. Right, this game, basically, what we're going to try and do, Johnny by its name, we've got to try and avoid the skulls. And again, you said it all before, collect presents. But a little bit more of a twist to this one. What you've got to try and do is collect a certain quantity of presents. Every time you pick up five, another skull is shown on the screen. And you've got to try and get to 14. If you collect a certain quantity of presents with 14 on the screen, you complete the game. But every time you pick up five, another one is introduced. If you collect a bomb, that will actually kill the last one that appeared. So a good way to get additional score. But you can also get extra life, and you can also get speed up. Now, at the start of the game, it's very simple, but of course, you can change very quickly. But basically, it's an avoid them up. The problem with this game is, well, the only problem with this game is, you don't really sort of know where they're going to appear from. They can appear right on top of you, you don't really sort of get a look in. So there's a lot of luck involved in this game. So, I don't tend to go for many bombs, because you want to try and get to 14, you want to try and reduce it. At the moment of time, we have three. Five more presents, and we go up to number four. But I love the music as well. There's number four. Um, groovy music, it's good, isn't it? I have to yes, the light gun game. Um, I've never actually played Die Hard with a light gun, because of course the G-Con 45 doesn't work with it, it doesn't support it, which is such a shame, really. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what sort of gun you've got to use, but unfortunately I've only used a crosshair. But yeah, you cannot go wrong with that game, it's superb. Uh, but yeah, there was a sequel, there was a Die Hard Trilogy 2, which I didn't, I didn't like that one as much. In fact, I think I traded that one in. Now, amazingly, we haven't picked up any speed up yet, but also in this game, if you die, you lose any abilities you picked up, including the speed up. You don't really lose any speed up, even though I haven't got it yet. Right, I'm going to try and get rid of that question. Trying to do the impossible here. Did it. Duh. Right. Merry Christmas, Kite City G. Hello, everybody. It was, whoa! It was good to catch you the other day on stream. Right, took one hit. So we've got three lives. Now, the power ups, I think, are limited how long they stay on the screen for. The presents, as soon as you pick up one present, another one will appear almost immediately. Don't make contact. Hello, Orprod, good to see you. Another pixel expert arriving on the scene. Good to see you. And also, the abilities you pick up in this game are random each time. 
kind of busy, but half watching. See, multitasking. See, men can do it. Men can do it. They do it very well. Oh dear. Right, seven skulls on the screen at the moment of time. NHS backgrounds. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, the rainbow thing, yeah. Oh, got another new viewer there. Hold on a minute, I'll read that in a second. Hello to Suburban Eresist. Good to see you. I haven't seen that name before either. This is uh, Santa Escape. Came out in the year 2019. Right, eight we have so far. Yeah, a simple idea, but I really like it. Uh, give Jamie the thumbs up, Vok. Thank you. Thank you, Heath. Appreciate it. But yeah, taking one hit will lose you a life. Right, nine on the screen. Hello, uh, hello to iDub. Good to see you. Happy Christmas to one and all. So anything else? Yeah, it's all else today. Speed up! I haven't seen it yet. Basically, it's a picture or an icon of a lightning bolt that makes you double the speed. Oh, there's a life there. That's handy. I'm down to my last life remaining. Oh, oh okay. Still alive. How you doing? I dub, it's good to see you. Oh the ant stream, okay. Oh right, okay. Um Hi Kai, how's it going with all the Xmas cars? Yes, we are sort I saw this the other day. Uh, Sam M, the other game would be Batman on the Mega A five hundred. Hearing speech and the open titles music just blew your mind. Happy Xmas, buddy, good to see you. Uh you are the only one who showed me. Oh, gotcha, buddy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I'm 39, yo, and my life wanted to see the end of the game. Yeah, it took me years to do it. Don't laugh, my favourite mega game was the Christmas I got an Mega 500 and it begged me the insane was the A1.3 Distar Disc. Anything that was a once in a lifetime, only for that moment. <clears throat> uh, Doc Xmas is a Christmas version of Doc Cosmos. Didn't know that. Great Giant Sisters, that's a very good name as well. Covid is almost gone. Thanks for asking. You are both old school. Mate, I'm, I'm glad you're getting better, Axel Folly. Not sure if I've got a favourite Xmas game, Blue Stinger. Whew, trying to catch up on the chat here, Blue Ball. Hope you're well, all prods. Uh, I remember Ghostbusters on the Spectrum had Ghostbusters in the game. Oh, that's what you're referring to. Yes, the speech in the, in the intro is fantastic. Yeah. I have completed it a few times, but I must do a long play of that one. Slam your elf's beer belly on that like button. Thank you. Did anyone play Gremlins? I've never played Gremlins on the CG4 before. Only on the PlayStation... So, no, sorry. Only played Gremlins 2 on the Amiga. Which, of course, have a box version as well. Right! Let's go again, shall we? Let's go again. Let's try and get some speed up. This game is a lot more easier. We've got speed up. Thumbs up. There you go. Yes, please do. Yes. Sometimes you get the presents really, really close together, which is fantastic. So yeah, we're freaking farts. So we're up to three. Three lives, three skulls. 800 points. Right, life. Where is the speed up, people? That's points. Always handy for a game that has points. Ah! Wasn't paying attention. Ah. Where's the speed up? Has anyone played this before? Did I pronounce your, your name correctly? I hope so. Right, that's fine. We've placed the life a lot. What are you doing this weekend, Kite Sissic G? Of course, it's very busy being a postman this time of year. Right. 
33 presents we have. Right, energy bolt. Have some of that. Come here. Right, look at me go. Woohoo! That's going to make a big, big difference. Alright. Now we hit two. That's crazy, isn't it? Alright. Now it takes one hit and you lose that as well. But yeah, sometimes you can get lucky. I've got two. It doesn't make you even faster. One's the maximum you can hold. Right, we've got nine on the screen. We have 47 presents in our possession. Five lives. It's looking good this time. There's no point getting the bomb. We've got to try and get to 14. Bomb is handy if you want to get more points. Killing a skull makes it easy for you and it gives you more points. But 14 is the target. Sand on speed. <laughs> a little bit. You pick up an energy bolt and it makes you faster. And that you don't hear on a daily basis. To be honest, Santa Claus does have a rough time, doesn't he? Pretty much all the games he plays. Yeah. Tough world being a Santa Claus. Not just in game, but also films. Alright, we've lost our speed up. Sorry! <laughs> Short and skulls, though, are we? Twelve. So yeah, this could be a, like a Halloween game, really. Hello, stage nine. Good to see you, buddy. We'll give it a moment. It's got thirteen. Fourteen is the target. No, ah, my lord. Run away! <laughs> right, three lives. It's fine. Hold on a minute, I can't read the chat at the moment. Hope you're well, stage no nine. Right. Oh, it's all gone peaked on. No! No, don't lose it now. Can anyone think of any other avoid em ups like this? I can't think of any more. But I'm sure there probably are more. Right. Uh... Soon boss fight. No boss fight in this one. No, it just cuts you off, basically. As soon as you get to 14, that's the end of the game. Oh, so close! I can do this! Uh, Jamie looks cool with his blonde hair. It's not blonde hair, it's Santa Claus's hat. Uh, for a split second, I thought you dyed your hair blonde. No, I didn't. Uh, this is Santa MPC in Elden Ring, if that counts. Want to chat with a boss player and these evil elves? Join the Discord, thank you. Uh, yes, I never... Never too, buddy. I remember seeing the Gremlins' hair... I've never, I've never actually seen the game. I've heard the soundtrack. Uh, we need you better so you can start sliding bananas up tailpipes again and streets of LA need you. The imagine made me almost spray my cider out. I've missed quite a few comments here, haven't I? Is Grimlins on CD4 good? Uh, one would think email would have changed that, but no, sweet as hell. For a split second, <laughs> the 4-track music is wrecking my ears, is it? Not sure how far I got. Also, my English was extremely limited back then. But you speak fantastic English. Stage nine. Uh, in Sweden, they want people to send Xmas cards, so they raise the postage to a silly amount. Oh, really? Soon boss fight. No. Oh, TV's going to turn itself off, but not on this TV, on that one. That's never happened before. Press TV standby or press a key. I'm pressing a key. Oh, what's my chat now? my chat gone? There's my chat. Hello! Right. Robert Grey! I did go. My TV went off. It's come back on. Robert Grey appears. Hello, buddy. Oh, I'm 
sweating. Um, even all, sorry I'm late. Santa required a little help to get presents sorted out this year. Great to see you. Not sure, Man Cave Hobbies. I'm going to try. I'm not going to say yes, not going to say no yes. That level zone was good, wasn't it? That was good. How are you doing, Robert Gray? Right, I'm going to have a speed run. How are you, Robert Gray? How are you, Stage 9? So what's I want to do at the weekend? Robert Gray, it's a very busy time for you, isn't it? Having children, uh, having children of course. Anyone with children, it's always going to be a busy time. But you said, hopefully, you'll be resting more at the weekend. Hopefully. Hopefully, uh, getting all your work done, all your presents getting bought and wrapped and under the Christmas tree, and hopefully you can chill out again and play some games. I bet you probably haven't played many games recently, I expect. Yeah, I hope the family's well too. Oh, poo! I'm proud of that one. Start again. Uh, happy Christmas, dude. Exactly, yes. Mate, no need to be apologising for being late. It's not a problem at all. Yes, avoid him up. The dude in school running and fixing things. Not my... Not remember name. Uh, does Jasper have a costume? He doesn't. No. No, he doesn't. I'm fine. Hope you are family or well too. No, I have never dressed up a animal in an outfit. No, I haven't. No. Right, I'm gonna do this. Last go. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. Right. Hit that shoe one more time. <laughs> Got to try and get to 14. Every time you pick up five presents, another skull is added to the screen. Once you get to 14, you've finished the game. If one of the skulls hits you, you lose a life. If you've got any abilities and you get hit by a skull, you lose that as well. And every time you pick up a present, another one arrives on the scene. But of course, more enemies are on the screen, making it more difficult for you. But we can run faster. Santa's on speed once again through this house. But if presents are really close together, you can really, really fly through this game. Really, really, there. there you go, look, look at that! The bomb will kill the last skull that appeared on the screen, but you want to try and get to 14, so I don't really see the point in that, apart from scoring points. Hope you're well, Daz, by the way! <clears throat> I can't get out of it at the moment. So right there, there, there. Look at that. Really close together. Speed up. Boom. Look at that! One more. The first goal I had, there was none. I got three. It doesn't make you three times the speed, unfortunately. It would, but you'd be going the speed of light right now. Um. Four lives, nine skulls. Forty-six, now forty-seven presents we have. Um, there. One, no. Present, yes. <coughs> Run for your life, Christmas. Father Christmas. That one appeared right on top of me. I didn't actually have to move. But like Dumbio said earlier on, it's just a really simple idea. But it works. It's really good. Part of me sort of wants to see how far, you know, if it can go any further than that. Just have the screen absolutely bombarded with it. But no, there is a limit. 14 is the limit. Yeah, it's just what it would be like if Halloween and Christmas were joined together be attacked by multiple skulls. Ah! But when you lose that speed up, my lord, it makes a big difference. It really does. But yeah, I suppose a typical Christmas of Santa Claus. Yes, being attacked by everything and everything. Thrown in the mix. That's fine. 
that's fine, that's fine. Right, one more to go. My lord, I cannot read the chat while doing that though. Um, yes, I'm fine. Hope your family's too. Uh, thanks for asking. You, you too, I hope. Yes, always a bus time of year. But for me, with the big fella up north, Santa, I'm sure we all sorted it out. Not played any games recently. Uh, played Xbox a few times, but that is it. I think my new CC4 game, that dude running around in school trying to avoid teachers. What's it called? Principles. I've not heard of that one before. Winter Cam, Amiga C, uh, Amiga and C64, forgot that one. Typical Xmas game, good game. What? I want it. Yeah, yeah. You want a coffee? I think this is a coffee. I want a coffee, or either I want a coffee or I want a coffee. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Christmas nights. Not played that before. There we go. Fantastic. Got there in the end. Third time's a charm. Done it. Right, okay, what do you want to see next? Do you want to see Turbo Santa? Do you want to see Coco Banana Xmas? Do you want to see Santa Rocks? Or Delivery Boy, The Holiday Shift? Which is pretty much quite a G game. That's pretty much what you're doing. Delivering parcels, presents to people's houses. So Santa Rocks, uh, simple. they're all simple ideas, really. They're not overly long games, to be honest with you. No, you, you played that game on some pickup video. What's that? Which one's that? Dr. Mario on Amiga. I didn't know it was on Amiga. Uh, oh, the avoid him up. Did I? Did I really? I don't remember, mate. I don't remember. Turbo Santa? I have Turbo Santa here on floppy disk. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I know what you're referring to. Yes. Sweetest house. Mikey. Mikey, yes, you got it just the same time I did. Mikey, I suppose, yeah, I suppose it is an avoid em up. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mikey. Xmas Bells, Xmas Bells, Jimmy smells of poo. I like that. Uh, it's a homebrew, Dr. Mario played it. I didn't, I've not played it on Amiga before. I only played it on the NES. Again, fantastic music. This one came out this year. Yes, Mikey, 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 yes. I can see it now, right up there. Yes, Mikey. Surprising that wasn't released on the Amiga. I have to admit, maybe don't leave your mad balls on the floor. That's expensive things on the floor. Don't leave on the floor. Yes. Yes! How could I forget? Yes! Brilliant game. Not a long game. Die Hard, I had it on the PlayStation 1, we talked about it earlier on today. Summer Games? I don't have Summer Games, not as a case version. That can't be a Christmas game, it's a long time of year. Winter Games, yes. Right, uh, Turbo Santa, Nevrig Games. Right, I'm going to go for Mode Normal, Music Normal, or Medium sound is on. It's nearly Christmas and you haven't played the best Amiga game of its of all time yet. What one's that? And you haven't even played the best Amiga Christmas game of all time. What one? What one are you referring to? Xmas Simmons? Yes, I played it. What one are you referring to, Oliver Gray? Oh, that! No, I haven't. I can't play poker. I'm rubbish at poker. However, I have actually seen that being long played now. Yes, I saw what happened. I mean, it was inevitable, really, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I'm not good. At, I'm not good at poker. Uh, I play Shadow of the Beast on play oh version four and the new version did get far. Oh yes, I remember. Yes, what well, a few people mentioned that. Is it good? Is it good? It looks sensational, but it's not the Shadow of the Beast. I know and love. 
it's too gruesome. It's too, it's too violent. It, not nothing against violence at all, but it's just not the the, the shallow base we all know and love. Or I know and love, should I say? But it does look good. <clears throat> it's just not my sort. I don't know. I don't. I don't have the system to play it on. Right, let's go. Collect the gears and give them to the children. Be quick. Don't mess. Beware of the grunt. And that was my phone. Now, in Turbo Tomato, you've got to basically hit the other characters. Basically, it's, it's a death match. But this time, you've got to deliver presents. So again, it's another game where we're delivering presents. Delivering presents to other vegetables. Right. Maybe you had talent. Right, deliver six in the time limit. So you pick up the present and you deliver it to the children. Kiddies. Do it in the time limit and you move on. And each level, a different quantity. But you're trying to avoid the grunch. Or grinch. I don't think it said grinch. I think it said grunch. Uh, but anyway, do it in the time limit and you move on. Now you press the fire button and you throw it in the direction you're facing. Glyph time, time bonus. There we go. Is that the best ever game? I suppose it is in a way. Yes, I suppose it is. I thought he was going to mention Xmas Lemmings, but I played that already. My Xmas to me is Sega. Amstrad Mega PC comes tomorrow. You're, oh, mate, fantastic. Should be a new Christmas edition, though. I like what you've done there. You're laughing at the end of that. I was just embarrassed myself. I'm terrible at poker. You know that. We all know that. <clears throat> nah, time too late for a coffee. I, do you know what? I have been tempted to make myself a coffee. I don't like coffee, but there's been a few times this week I've been absolutely exhausted. And I thought, even though I know I'm not a fan of coffee, I'm quite tempted to try one and to see if it grows on me, see if it wakes me up, but I've never actually tried it. Tea doesn't really wake you up, really. It's a nice taste, I love it. But if you're tired, it's not the way to go for, really. But I'm okay now, I'm streaming. I'm not, I don't feel tired doing streams, never have done. Right, so now we've got to do a different quantity. It goes up. But yeah, watch out for him. He'll steal them from you. Now also, if you throw the present, it can actually bounce off the sides of the screen. But yeah, that's a problem in the original game. Because you can actually be hit by your own projectiles. It does look a bit like Season 4. Yeah, a little bit. I talked to Eggman Santa. It's a tomato. Yeah. Did anyone see the new trailer for the Sonic... Two. That looks sensational. I'm definitely going to go and see that. Also, I don't know if the new Ghostbusters is on the cinema yet. If it is, I'm going to go and see that as well. If it's still on. Has anyone seen it? Right, way three. Deliver ten presents before the time runs out. Is it loud enough? Let me know. Your bad with caffeine, can't drink Coke, makes you giggle. <laughs> Does it? I used to drink loads of coke. I don't drink lots now, but my brother really does. He, he always has done. But yeah, I don't drink loads. Um, but Lugaside, I do have from time to time, but not every single day. It's like beer. You know, if someone said to me, Jamie, no more beer, I'd be like, okay, I can live without beer. And coke, I probably could live without it. But it's just a nice taste from time to time, you know. It's quite nice. Just don't have it lots. So make sure you brush your teeth afterwards. So, does it tell you at the top of the screen um, how many you got to do? No, I don't believe so. It might be doing. You have it every morning, do you? The perfect way to start your day is a cup of coffee for you. What about cereal? Are you, are you a cereal man? Are you a um, toast man? <laughs> <clears throat> Jamie, only drink Coke when you have guests. Yes, you can't burn that, can I? I'm bad with caffeine. Oh, really? Um... Dr. Eggman sends... Well, one of these characters is called... Um, Spudnik. The ones that are brown are called Spudniks. They're actually quite slow characters, but they're strong characters. So, yeah, the stronger they are, the faster, uh, the slower they are. Right, now we've got to do 12. But also, yes, those Grinches can actually steal the presents. But also, items will arrive on the scene. Anything from points to additional time. Also, freeze. There you go. You get your present, even though you're frozen solid when you get it. Caused by the person that delivered the parcel, parcel to you. Yeah, that one there is called Spudnik. There you go, Mr. Spud. And they're very fast characters too. Right, and I love the music as well. There you go. Graham Cowie, hello boy. I was playing your game earlier today. The one came out last year, which you know very well, which you created in seven days. I played Santa Rum. Mate, it's really good. I love the music of that game. You did that in seven days, that's amazing. 
How are you doing, Graham Cowboy? Good to see you. Right, deliver 14 presents before time runs out. How you doing, buddy? Hello, guys. How to cat night? Hello, mate. No worries. No worries. No worries at all. No need to apologise. I see Finnish presents and English presents, but no Swedish presents yet. You are looking from every angle, aren't you? There might be some Swedish ones there. If not, we must put some in place, shouldn't we? Well, that's close. Like, it's, not, it's not the right blue, but yeah, it's close. But yeah, yes, you're right. It's more Finland, isn't it? Yes, I, I, you know, I didn't notice that. Only Swedish house would notice that. But yes, there is an England one there. But yes, there needs to be Sweden, isn't there? It's close. No cigar, though. It's a very fast-moving character, he really is, but of course, some characters are slower than others, based on their skills, their strengths, we say. I don't think you have an energy bar, the original game you do. You just have a time limit. Well, we haven't seen a Swedish one in the first five levels, it's probably not going to look like you were going to see any, but I don't know how many levels this has got. One more to go. It does tell you. One more to go. There you go. Yep, doing good, Jamie. Even busy at work, family, and coding. Mate, you're a busy boy. You really are. Hope you can have a, a hope you can have a lot of break time for Christmas. Do you get much time off? Are you ready for Christmas? Who has finished all their Christmas shopping? Who is ready? Whose presents already wrapped underneath the Christmas tree? <laughs> Free Wednesday afternoon? Yes, I can be. Yes, yes, because I'm not working until the sixth. Yes, mate. Yes, absolutely so. Yes. As long as it's not Christmas Eve, I've got my booster. Wave 6. To deliver 16 presents before the time runs out. Yeah, let me know. I'll text you after the stream. But then probably when I finish the stream, you'll be tucked up in bed. Are you working at the weekend? Does your new job allow you to work weekends? Do you have to work weekends? Right, so. The Grinches, Grunches, whatever they want to call them, are there to just basically make it difficult for you. Do your presents and make it difficult for you. But the more you progress in the game, the more are going to be introduced. No, we can. That's fantastic. Me too. It's choice by choice now. I did uh, five Saturdays in the last 11 days, but that was a, 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 a thing that was doing at work. But yeah, you've got to commit yourself to either doing five or ten. The more you do, the more Christmas bonus you get, which I'm going to get on Monday. So I did five. I didn't do ten. Ten was a bit of extreme. I want to wear myself out. Do that more enough during the week. You can do overtime. Yeah, we can as well, but they have cut it back. Uh, no more overtime during the week. Only at weekends. But now the now Christmas is nearly here. They're probably not going to do it anymore. Also, it was originally going to be time and a half, but again, it was an incentive to try and get people in. They did it as double double pay. So yeah, my like time limit is running out. Woohoo! Let me go! Uh, that, was, that, does, that does look good. That does look good. That does look good. When I get paid on Monday, I'll be pre ordering both of those games because I haven't got the box version of um, Bomb Jet Beer Edition. I'd like to get that as well. How are you doing, Chaotic Night, by the way? Good to see you. Just need to wrap up gifts and I'm done. Who is good at rapping? And be honest, who is not good at rapping? I know it can be a major pain, but yeah, some people are better than others, but yeah, some people can do it in a really expert way, but bows on it and really top of the range wrapping seals. I'm okay. I'm not brilliant, but I can do it. Well, a lot of it, it well, not, some of it is going to go in the house fund, but yes, I will treat myself to some things. It's going to be a nice addition to the house fund. But not gonna spend all of it on the house funds. Some things I'll be treating myself. Yeah, probably a few games, maybe. A few things I want to get around the house. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe some seal games, who knows? Uh, and then we have to put a vote on the stream whether I open it or not. And again, I think the answer's gonna be no. But also, presents will bounce off the side, which can also work to your advantage, because they can bounce off the wall or ceiling and then. Either go to the destination you originally went, or the destination you wasn't going, but it all helps, as long as it doesn't hit a Grinch. Yes, yeah, so who's the bee's knees at rapping, and who's not? Who hates rapping? It could be okay if you've got some music playing. 
But Christmas is very basic for me now. It's very easy now. Not many people to buy for. I am mid-range at rapping, are you? There you go, got a present there. Thank you, Swedish House. It's not a Swedish one, though, is it? I am the master at rapping, are you? Fantastic. You probably wrap it up in Sonic wrapping paper, I expect. Got my bonus in November. I could work every Saturday if you wish. That's nice that that gives you the option. I mean, I'm trying to do it to save up for a bigger house. I need a bigger house. I'm off for three days next week, and I'm working all the way through, Graham Cowie. You need to speak with the creator of the game about his presence. Yeah, this was uh, Nif Nifrig, I think it was. The same people that also did um, Santa Rock, which I haven't played yet. My presents go in an Audi bag, and that is it. Better rapping than rapping, that's for sure. I'm terrible at rapping, but I'll try. But I won't do it on stream, that's for sure. I'm embarrassed myself. I'm pretty good, but I do take my time. I think it's the best way to go. If you rap it, you're going to make mistakes. I'm just going to rip. I'm not bad at rapping, my wife is so much better at it, so she does a lot of rapping when I'm working. When you're on Christmas Day, what we used to do in other day, I'm assuming Robert Gray, you're probably going to do the same, maybe? We took it in turns, it makes it last a bit longer, so yes, we'll take it in turns, watch that person open that one, and then someone else will open one, and someone else will, and we'll go around in a loop. Rather than everyone just absolutely going absolutely bombarded with chaos, and wrapping paper goes all over the place, it's, I think... It's a better way of doing it, taking it in turns, that way it's, it lasts longer, and see him wrap, unwrapping it. Yeah, that's what we always tend to do, and we'll be doing it this year as well, we'll take it in turns. So who does that, and who just wrote, opens them at 100 miles an hour? Wave 8, deliver 20 presents before time runs out. Right, 190, the wild grunge appears. Yes, watch out for the him. What a frozen. Ooh. That makes it a lot more easier. Oh my lord, that was a brilliant start. Didn't know a lot about it though. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not complaining that happened. That was fantastic. So yeah, more Grinches. Okay. Yeah, the cows are very small. You're throwing at very fast speeds. It's quite difficult to sometimes hit your mark. Oh, that one. Look at that. There's your present. Oh, that's a Grinch name. You can't give presents to a Grinch. No, you can't do that. Extra life. 500 points. Mm. You're gonna wrap it up a Amstrad, yeah? Who's the lucky boy then? I do like the Amstrad. I have to admit, I've never owned one, but I like the look of it. I've seen a few streams and they're playing Amstrad, and I'm really impressed by the games on that. Same as the MSX. It does look very good. Peekaboo, I see you. Hello, everybody. Hello to Nipshin and to France. My lord, Jamie, how breath, man. Uh, I stop after Tuesday next week, then off for seven days. That's not too shabby. How's Michael Jensen? Is he alright? Uh, Ice Cube is good at rapping. That is true. Yes, if you're a rapper, you're going to be very good at rapping. You're a terrible at it, Chaos at Night. You're the master. Very particular about your rapping, yeah? Um, but do you take your time? Will you finish for Xmas? Wrapping presents okay, but I like it when no wrapping is necessary. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. You put them in one of those little bags that you can get from the shops. Yeah, just put all the presents in one bag and just let them open it up and take them out of that way. How are you doing, Neptune, by the way? We start the way with the first few presents, but we would be there all day unwrapping. That's true, I suppose, yeah. If you've got a lot of children, a lot of presents, and take it one present at a time, yeah, it could take quite some time. Yeah, that's true, actually. Maybe if it's a really expensive present, you might do those ones separately, or leave it to the last. Yeah, I can understand that. Right, wave now. We're going to wave 10. I didn't actually see how many we've got to do now. Uh, I've got an English present, a Finn present, no Swedish presents. But yes, Mr. Swedish House, have a word with the creator and say, Oi, where's my Swedish presence? <laughs> so, David Jensen, you've got seven days. That's not too bad. But you're liking your new job, yeah? You're, you're, working, you're actually working in an office now, not working from home anymore. 
Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it. One. Again, like the last game I played, if they're close together, it's going to make it a lot more easier to get some simple collections and drop-off drop -off points, we we'll say. Right, 96, we should be plenty. I don't think you lose time. I don't think so. Uh, that's, I don't know what the out of caps are. Orange? Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah! Trolls, good to see you. Santa Overlow. You might see a few Santas on the stream, yes. Oh gosh, we've got them upstairs. I'll wrap them on Christmas Eve. Oh really? I'll be getting my booster jab, you'll be wrapping up your presents. Oh your Amstrad Mega PC. Alright, oh, I read that I read it for a second time and it's a good thing I did, I read it wrong the first time. Same story here. Uh, I got my booster last Sunday and felt fine. Just a dull ache in my arm. Oh, really? I got mine on Christmas Eve. Right, do one more level. We'll go to 10. Deliver 24 presents before the time runs out. Right, okay. 1,000 points. Put another question on as well in a moment. I've got many questions today. Many as usually streams. But yeah, you can throw them in any angle. Yeah, if you miss your target, it'll bounce, and yeah, you can get lucky with that. What's that? A thousand points? Yeah, quite a lot of them now. It's not very loud on my headphones, Jamie. You need to turn it up a little bit more. <clears throat> Should be alright. Two more to go. Two more to go. But yeah, those grunches are very quick. But so is that time, actually. That's a really, really Ooh. fast time. Ooh. Ooh. Is that it? Ooh. That makes it so much easier. Presents. Time? Nice. Oh yeah. oh yeah! Right, I'm gonna go another game now. <clears throat> so just a delay, that's probably what I'm gonna get then. Uh, I'm gonna work from office till I'm good at the job and don't need assistance, then I'll work from home. That's not too bad then. Turbo Santa, yes, first time I've ever seen that game. Yeah, it came out this year. Remember seeing the micro PC on Bad Influence? I can recall that, yes. Bad Influence was fantastic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Try it, mate. It's a good game. There we go. Uh, there another go I don't actually know how many levels there are. It'll just keep increasing over the course of time. Uh, this is on disc. So we need to reboot. Right, how many more questions have we got? How about, let's go for this one now. Um, what was the strangest Christmas gift you have received? The strangest one. <clears throat> yeah, Bad Influence was good as well. Games Master was good. Bad Influence was good. When Games Attack was also very good. Um, can't think of any more. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Santa Run. That is fantastic. That's a really good game. So if you take the disc out of the Amiga, it won't boot it up again. Um, right, we're going to play Santa. We're going to have a Santa Box, which has quite a small screen. I uh, just bought one. Comes tomorrow, Lord and Finty. Yeah, there's a few items I'm waiting for, and some of them are taking an absolute lifetime to arrive. Some of them are arriving really quickly. Mr. Rusty James sent me a really, really kind, kind donation, and that arrived really quickly. But yeah, something I bought on eBay is taking about two weeks to arrive. Matchboxes for presents. Do you know what? I think I might have asked this question before, and I think I recall you saying that. That's bizarre, isn't it? Time to change now, Mr. Sweetie's house. Just go for one of these now. Yeah. I have got a box of matches, but I didn't get it as a Christmas present. Right, we're going to go for... What's it called again? Santa Rocks. Another game which can feature Santa Claus. But yeah, this should be on here. There it is. I think you only get one life, though. 
Um, oh, it's that one. Some of them didn't work, so I've got... A, yeah, there we go, that'll work. Dodgy rocks. Dodgy rocks. Or Santa rocks. Not that sort of rock. Best smelling perfume. You got perfume? You got a blank video tape? Well, it's better to get a video with something on it, but I suppose, you know, you can put stuff good on it. <laughs> James Wells, I... I didn't play. I didn't see that one because I didn't have Sky nowadays. It took me a lifetime until we finally got Sky. If I wanted to watch Sky One, I know we went through to a few person, a few friends' houses to watch The Simpsons, but you hadn't heard of that one before. But yeah, it took us a lifetime until we finally got Sky. But when we got Sky, it was actually cable. <laughs> That's spooky. Yeah, Robert Gray. One year, I got some boots vouchers from my auntie and back then yes there were times where Boots was good this time Boots was not good there was nothing worth getting there so yeah I got a Boots voucher and I think I spent it to get myself some batteries but there was nothing else to buy I didn't sell games anymore it was either Jojurin or shaving cream of course I didn't shave back then uh, or shampoo or whatever but yeah I just bought some batteries they be handy but yeah back in the old old days of course Boots they sold games. They sold joysticks. I've been buying myself a cruiser joystick for Boots. And of course a few games from Boots. Good times. Hello to Old Style Gaming. Got your name right that time. Good to see you. The strangest gift from Erlent. I did get a Barbie doll with a horse once as a kid. Was that a joke? Why is someone buying you a Barbie doll? Who got you that? My lord, who got you that? Uh, bad smelling Pope, you're back. T Welcome back, Sean P. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Do you know what? I haven't watched Home Alone yet this year. I must do that. Shampoo for Xmas. No. Why? Why? No. Let's get some batteries with it. Right, Santa Rocks. Now, this is going to have to try and extend because it's a very, very, very narrow screen. So hopefully you can do it. But basically, it's, it's, I suppose it's quite similar to... Um... Santa so Chase, again, there's a forward map. But this one, you only get one life. Thank you, Greg Pop. Good to see you. Thank you for the donation. That's really kind of you. Something has been mad. Something has been made abundantly clear tonight. Xmas games divert some different mega tunes to use instead of jingle bells. Uh, some used to watch it at a friend's house. We didn't get Sky until 2000. I suppose you're quite similar to me. It wasn't much different, I have to admit, in terms of year. Yeah, Stingle Bells does get picked quite a lot in games, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, my strangest Christmas present was probably handkerchiefs, which I sold on eBay, and amazingly, they're sold. I've never used a handkerchief in my life. But yeah, I got handkerchiefs, a pack of handkerchiefs from the for Christmas once. Never mind. Hope you're well, Greg, by the way. Good to see you, Pop. Good to see you. Right, one life. The rules are simple. Got to avoid these snowballs. From the guy at the other end that's throwing them at me. Now, at the moment of time, they're going fairly fairly stable. But yeah, they get more difficult and they start to change direction, that sort of thing. But one life, it only takes one hit. So what we've got to do is just move left and right and avoid his attacks. Do it for the quiet amount per wave to move on. Each Aww. wave gets more difficult than the one before. Oh, yeah. This is wave three. Uh, I guess it's the Grinch, I suppose. Whoever said you've got the package mixed up. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you've got it mixed up. Unless it was a joke. It could well be. The only problem with this game is the sound effects will actually stop the music. Aww. So yeah, a bit of a problem with that one. Oh, yeah. Used to help sister dolls, really? Melt your sister's dolls, you meanie! You didn't get matches for Christmas as well, did you? Get matches for Christmas and use them to melt your sister's Barbie dolls. There we go. Thank you, donation, buddy. Ho, ho, ho. Same to you, buddy. Simple but fun. Again, a simple idea, exactly. I just wish you had more lives. But no speed up in this one. This is your fastest speed. I don't think you can pick up anything in this game. I don't think you can. 
But he gets more angry, and when he's more angry, he throws them a little more often and more faster. Take it easy. Take it easy, Lord Infinity, if you're going. Take it easy. Have a good weekend. If I don't hear from you before Christmas, have a fantastic Christmas. Wave six. I did play it last night. The furthest I've got was wave 12, I think it was. But yeah, it's a shame that the music gets interfered every time there's a sound effect. Grid Runner? I think I played Grid Runner. Yeah. I'm not sure what year this one came out. I didn't see it at the title screen. Probably not that very long ago. Wait, oh, did Graham Curry ask me something? Hold on, let me read that a sec. Graham asked. Ah, hold on, man. Ugh, hold on. Graham asked. Crowley, Crowley asked. Your mum to buy you. Whoa, a Vic 20. Okay, I've never played a Vic 20. Oh, did you ask for it? You didn't get it. You got something else. Is that right? I'm gonna read while doing this. Um, a Cindy doll once, really? Oh my lord, what's going on? Careful now. Like these ones, they always start to change the way they move. Okay, now he's really getting angry. You won't like him when he's angry. He does this. Oh, I'm going. I'm going a little bit faster now. How did that happen? Now, if you press the fire button down, you also do that. But I, at the moment of time, there's no reason to use that. Very strange. It is very strange. Yeah. No, 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 no. The strangest gift I ever got was a grid runner for the Commodore 64. My mum and dad didn't pay any attention to the fact I had a Atari. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, that's quite a mistake. Yeah. Uh, I asked for CD4, and my mum bought me a Vic 20. Sad times. Hope you're well, old style gaming, by the way. Also, mix up, did you have a sister who got action figures? I haven't got a sister, just a brother. So, of course, we never had any Barbie dolls or anything like that. But it was a few. There was a, a crush that someone had on me at school, and she bought me a. a little, little teddy bear and a troll. But yeah, that's probably the closest thing I've had, I suppose. I think trolls are more for girls, I think. Um, Frankfurt is the only city in Germany with a skyline because of the bank towers. I always remember the year I got my CD4 for Christmas. I'm assuming my Chris our CD4 was Christmas. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm assuming it probably was. I have seen that. That looks good, doesn't it? It looks really, really good. Yeah, it's the 30th anniversary. We've got a, a really, really good Sonic 2 film on the horizon. And I've got a great CD4 conversion coming. Well, really good. And that was my phone. Never been to Frankfurt. I've only been to Kohl, Hamburg, or Kohl. Yeah, good one. I can't, f I can't recall what sort of game that is. I I'm sure I played it at some point. Hey, hey, hey! Me, you feel so Christmas to me. Like many people, I get all my memories back of getting the first one as a present. What year did you get your first Chris? Um, what year did you get your first Christmas? Probably the same as everyone else, Jamie. What year did you get your Mega? Pop. Right, one more go. Right, we get a code there. Hmm. Okay, we'll go again. It's a good game, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, that's my previous score. That was yesterday. Messed my name up. I've messed my name up. I can't believe that. Right, let's go again. Wave one. 1988, you got it one year after we did. Good score. Not my best score, so we'll go again. Only young and never had a computer before, but still loved it apart from the god awful aerial box. Yeah, the good old aerials, yes. It takes you absolutely ages to try and tune it in, doesn't it? Yeah, and once you've tuned it in, you can't get a really, really good picture. Yeah, that's something that wasn't great. Yeah. I mean, a lot of things back then were great. 
and I do miss them, but yeah, the area I don't really miss that. Because yeah, that can be a bit of a difficult situation. Your first TV always had a bit of an issue with the aerial. You're trying to get Saturday morning TV in, you're trying to tune your aerial in, or tune your TV in with your aerial, should we say. But yeah, just trying to tune in your, your, your computer system, normally at channel 8 or 9, something like that. And it takes ages. Some of you actually use a screwdriver. And some have that little, little nozzle you actually turn. But yeah. How do you get greys on it? Greys? Now how do I get that speed up? I don't know how I did that. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yes. Never seen a Sonic game for the CG4. I don't think there has been one. So yeah, it was, it was a, it really does look good. But then after the Mario game, which also was fantastic, apart from the occasional slowdown, it was brilliant. It was absolutely superb. But yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised. But yeah, you never know. We could get on Amiga one day. You never know. You never know. But it looks and sounds so good. It really, really does. But like I said earlier in the stream, I'm glad that they're using the Mars System levels, because I, I prefer. I do like the Mars System, I do love the uh, the Mega Drive, but I've always preferred the Mars System levels. I've always preferred a lot of Mars System games to the Mega Drive games. More memories of the Mars System than the Mega Drive. A Voice 267, Smash 1, Grey's... Oh, on here! I don't know, Matt. I don't know what the Grey's is. I have no idea. I don't know. Usually you fall over and get to the Grey's, isn't it? Normally on the elbows, and the knees. Which can be quite painful. Four channels, cutting off the music like hell. Wave 8. Your TV air was bad, took you a wire at all. Damn it. Wish your cat was a little bit faster. Stop throwing snowballs, mate. I'm trying to read the chat here. Has anyone got any snow at the moment of time? Careful now, okay, I will be. You don't want to be stuck at the sides. That's what killed me last night as well. On the side of the screen, that's that's where you tend to get stuck. I'm just trying to spend most of the time in the middle. It only takes one hit to ruin your day. So bad, it's a attached to the outdoor, washing the really. That's interesting. You need the washing line to play your games. Only old school days can you do that. I don't know, again, I don't know how many levels this has got. What happened there? What happened again? See what happened there? Did they hit each other? Maybe the snowballs hit each other. You get a bonus from that. Come on. No, I haven't. I have got a tree. I just don't have it set up. I don't have any space. I did set it up last year, but it was only up for four days. I get get in the way. I get brushing past it every time I leave the living room, go to the kitchen, or Jasper keeps brushing his face on on the twigs. It's not a big Christmas tree either. I just don't have space. It's a shame because I made the hammer bee decorations myself. But then um, I commented on my mate Jeff's video in the week, and he said, just put your, your, your lights up and just make them in the shape of a Christmas tree. Because I might just do that. There's space for that. Sort of. Woohoo! Um, so what's everyone doing for Christmas? Who are you spending your Christmases with? What's your plans? Seeing friends, family, a family coming to you, friends coming to you. Hopefully no one's going to be spending Christmas on their own. I hope not. I'll try 
try not to spend too much time on the left and right, if you can, Jamie. Quite like doing the opposite to what you would do in Arkanoid. I suppose, yeah, a little bit. A little bit, yeah, the opposite to Arkanoid. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good shout, that one. Not great at those sort of games. How I, I hardly ever stream games like that. But yeah, they are good. I'm just not really good at them. But there are some very good ones in the Liga. But yeah, Poin, Poin was good, wasn't it? That was good. But that you're looking at it from a different perspective. Rather than going up screen, it's the other way round. Vertical, isn't it? Still going, Santa Claus, we're still going. You sort of think, right, can it get much more difficult than this? What happened there? Oh, you got a, you got a sprint! Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I beat my score. Yeah, Graze, I don't know what that is. Smash 2. Oh, so I'm guessing if two snowballs hit each other, that gets you a power-up. Maybe. But I don't know what the Graze is. Maybe it's something to do with that jump. I don't know. Well, let's see what happens here. I don't like that code down. So. Spending Christmas alone. Oh, mate. Well, that's not good. You're not seeing your son. V, V, K, F. You've not seen your son? Um, spending Christmas with the wife and the family. Gotta be nice and relaxing. Gotta do some jigsaw. I, do, I like jigsaw. I've still got an atmosphere one to do. So where do you put the code in? Scores, options. It gives you a code. But how would you put the code in? Oh. Well, that's easy. It wasn't doing anything. It was normal. Thank you. Well, this, Santa Rocks. If 5422 2 sounds like a really, really one sided game of football. Yeah, I love shooters too. There's not many shoot em up games that are Christmas related. Yeah, the music breaks every time there's a sound effect. Shabby, you've got this character throwing snowballs at you, going ha, ha, ha. And every time it goes ha, the music goes like that. Which is a shame, really. Can't believe I've messed my own initials up. Oh, he's coming over the 22nd. Space off a code. Good shout. Good shout. Nightmare. Should we try Nightmare out? Nope. Oh, right, look, you got that. Oh, you're gonna use it once, though. Oh, I didn't know that. Right, I'm gonna kill myself. So you get some sort of sprint. Dry lint. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Let's try Nightmare. How bad can it be? Oh, mate, you're back. Good, good signal, yeah? Uh, the season four, I had came with the scarts, uh, the cart with four games on the International Soccer, Flimbo's Quest, Clacks, and some weird circus game. Circus game. Is it that game I'm thinking of? Is it Fiendish Freddy's Big Top of Fun? Is it that one? It's Outrun for the end Switch. Oh, really? I would like to get a Switch one day. Um, never say never, mate. Raston is a big game, though. Are you asking Mr. Graham Cowie, are you? He would need AGA for the memory, and then peeps complain it's not a 500. It's more likely to do the best and meanest shooter ever. First. I like the sound of that. My ears are burning. The greatest shoot em up. Ooh, Mr. Graham Cowie's doing a shoot 'em up. My ears are burning. Right, I'm liking this. What are you doing, buddy? Big Top of Fun. Got that cartridge with the CC. I've not played it on the CC4. I've only played it on Mega. Yes, I got it. Superb. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to be green on the face. Eh? Yeah, yeah. On the face. Yeah. Jingle bells. Yes, so many jingle bells. Let's go for Nightmare. I want to see what this is like. Let's go for Nightmare, shall we? Da da da. Christmas hasn't got the same flavour nowadays. 
Ooh, yes. How you doing, Charlie? By the way, good to see you. Rusty back. Yes. Are you still on your boat? I've never been on a cruise before. I have been on a boat before. I've gone from Dover, Calais, multiple times. But I've not been on a long cruise. My mum and stepdad have been on low. In fact, they're going on another one next year. Right, nightmare. How bad can it be? Well, it's not on snow, it's on mud. So this is nightmare. Oh, I see. So they're going at an angle right from the go. Okay. Yeah, Finish Freddy's Big Top of Fun was a good game. Once you figure out what to do for each of the levels. I suppose in a way, a little bit like Calif... What happened there? A bit like California games. I didn't see what happened there, it was miles away. Are you on the boat to Southam in Southampton? Your code of Santa Rocks can be entered here. Oh it's, oh, it's like an online thing. Oh, thank you, Andrew Dubline. I appreciate that. I didn't know that. Oh, yes, there's a few games that did that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can do that. I think you can do that in Rygar, can't you? And I think you can do that also in... Can you do that in Bomb Jack Beer Edition? <laughs> Don't hit icebergs, please. Circus Attraction. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Right, I don't know what I don't know what killed me there. If we're gonna go again though. Maybe it bounced off the side. Maybe. Oh, something's firing at me. What is that? Right, it's a bullet. A little blue ball killed me. Don't hear that every day, now do you? Right, killed by a little blue marble. Right, I know what I'm looking for. Thank you, Heath. Where did it come from? Oh, I saw it. Okay. Right. It's a fast bullet, isn't it? Oh, see, he's right. So he's firing it then. But it had to really, didn't it? Yeah, don't hit an iceberg, please! Don't hit a sp <laughs> snowball, Jamie. Alright. Merry Boatmas, everybody. Same to, same to you. Ooh, he's really going for it now. There's only wave four, but it's his nightmare. La, 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 la. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Love the sound effects. Yeah, it's such a shame about the music, which gets affected. A bit like creatures, I suppose. Oh, we're cooking on gas now. Do you like Titanic? Ugh. It's okay. <laughs> Not my thing, that one. Never seen Titanic 2. Yes, there was a Titanic 2. Not seen it. Wave 7, Jamie. Going well. Oh, he's fine. Double bullets now. Oh, Lord, he's, now he's angry. Oh. You can emulate Switch now. Oh, can you? My Lord, is there anything you cannot emulate these days? Um, hmm. Right, I will be back in a moment, people. When I get back, I'll play another game and I'll we'll do another question. But anyway, I like that. It's a good game. I'm learning new things about the game. Uh, how to quit? Oh, quit. Duh, Jamie there. Quit. That might do it. Haven't seen Mr. What? Haven't seen Mr. Raw. Hello, Mr. Raw. Just popped in before. Mate, good to see you. Dreamlands. Hope you're well. How you doing, Mr. Raw? Good to see you. Are you guys psyched about... It does look good. It does look good. I have to admit, I've not been to the cinema since the first Sonic came out. In fact, lockdown happened two weeks after I saw that film. And that's the last film I went to the cinema. But it's quite a few now. 
Matrix looks good. Ghostbusters looks good. And the new Sonic game film looks good as well. And I'm sure there was another one. I didn't see Dune, though. It was mixed things. Some people were saying it was good. Some people were saying it wasn't so good. So, I think I'll wait for that one to come on DVD. Quit for quit. What a surprise. I didn't know that. Yes. What a fool I am, Mr. Sweetest House. Right, we're going to go on to the next game. We're going to go on to... Uh... Delivery boy, is Mr. Kite66G still here? He does this sort of thing for a living. Right, so this one is on disc, which is also de a demo. I uh, hope it's not just a cash now. Um, yeah, I hope you're well, Mr. Raw. Good to see you, buddy. I don't know, but I feel like this sequel should have been made in the first place. What the... Oh, Matrix? Are you referring to the Matrix? Yeah, maybe. I didn't like... Well, the first one, the first Matrix was absolutely outstanding. The second one had its moments, but the third one... No, I didn't really enjoy I didn't buy that one. I've only got one on two. Right, I'll be back in a moment, people. I'll be right back. Sorry, people. Sorry, people. Hopefully it's not Jingle Bells. I think you've heard that enough today. <laughs> um, agreed. Matrix. Yeah. Uh, I got that on video as well as DVD. Uh, I saw... I saw Matrix, the second one, I saw at the cinema. I didn't see the third one at cinema, and I'm glad I didn't, actually. I didn't see Animatrix, though. Is that an anime? I'm assuming it's anime. I've not seen that one. So nice to see you all. You too, buddy. This must be the nicest chat on YouTube. Mate, you, that was a really nice thing you said to me the other day. Great to see you. Kites, it's G. This guy is delivering parcels. So yeah, he's a postman. Sort of. But this is a demo. But yeah, great, mate. Mr. Raw, it, it, it is. Absolutely so. I agree with you. It's the, it's the bestest chat in the world. Absolutely so. The, the viewers are absolutely fantastic. I cannot fault them. Every single one of you is fantastic and very, very supportive. It's wise to highlight my week. It really is. Um, right, this is again a demo, but it's timed, unfortunately. But I've not played the full version of the original game. Watched Elf in the cinema on the boat. Elf? Elf, Elf. I'll tell you what, let's put a question on, shall we? Elf? Oh, Elf! Yes! I've, uh, I've got that as well, Jamie. Of course I have. Yes, I know what one you mean now. Alright, we're on the subject of films. Mr. Vaughan's favourite. Okay, what are your top three Christmas films? I love you too. Your top three. I wasn't going to go for five. Let's go for a three, shall we? Matrix Wine is a classic. The rest is meh. Pretty good though. Yeah, Elf was good. That was good. Yeah, he played that really well. Have you guys tried the Matrix demo? No, but I've seen footage. It looks amazing. It really does look good. The last Matrix game I played was on the PlayStation 2. I rented it out from Blockbusters, but I didn't. I didn't buy it. It was okay. It was okay. There was quite a lot of games on the PlayStation 2 I rented but didn't buy. Right, basically what you got to try and do is deliver the presents to the little kiddies. Now you can use this by... Well, we've got ice. Ice is going to affect the way you move. 
But for additional bonus points, you've got to try and deliver the correct colour present to each of the one requiring that colour present to get the maximum score, which is 500 points. If you deliver the wrong colour present, yes, you'll accept it, but you only get 100 points. Basically, it's to see how far you can go in the limited time limit. You can jump, you cannot... You can fire, but it doesn't kill enemies. But you can discard of any unwanted presents. If you've got the wrong colour, then yes, you can discard it. So he wants red, we're going to give him a red one. There we go, 500 points. You can also jump through the floor. So we haven't got any greens. So we won't be delivering any greens to him. But no Santa Claus on this one. But yeah, you can also throw the presents at the children, I think. Like that. Yeah, a bit mean though, isn't it? Hello to Ox. Good to see you, buddy. But yes, the snow, the ice, the slivery, slidey round sister sister systems situations feature here. Right, 2,500. Again, I love the music, and again, I love the way it looks. The graphics are superb. This was done on Scorpion Engine, which is tremendous. I mean, there are so many games being created on Scorpion Engine. They make it look so easy. Women is, I don't know. Has anyone had any experience in Scorpion Engine? It does look so good. Bad Santa, I've never seen it. Never seen it. King All The Way, I quite like that. Yes, it didn't get a good rating. And yes, it probably wasn't one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's greatest moments. But I quite liked it. It's just cheesy. But I liked it. And just gone for the easy approach with Die Hards 1, 2 and 3. Is 3 Christmas? I don't think it is. Gadget UK! Good to see you, buddy. How are you doing, Chris? It's a Wonderful Life Elf and Bad Santa from Graham Cowie. Uh, the Matrix demo is extremely impressive. I have to admit, the first time I saw it, I thought it was actually a film. I really, really did. I thought it was a trailer for the film. Um, didn't try it, but watch some live stream on YouTube. It sure is impressive. Oh, the Matrix. How are you doing, Chris, by the way? Tell me more, Mr. Raw. That rhymes. Home Alone, Xmas Vacation, and Reindeer Games. I don't... I've never seen Reindeer Games. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Thanksgiving, yes. Home Alone, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I watched the 8... Oh, what's that like? The 8-bit Christmas the other day. It's pretty good. Cheesy, is it? Do you actually see much games being played in that? I know it's based on the NES, but do you see much games in it? Or is it just they're trying to get it? Their struggles are trying to get that system. Oh, poo. Okay. Right, they're all reds. Only the one on the right wants the red. Have your red present. Right, they're all reds again. Now this will also arrive on the scene, which again you can't kill, you can afford it all costs. So basically just try and score as whatever you can in a limited amount of time. Uh, does he want a red present? You bet you... Yes, of course he does. <clears throat> 71 remain! Uh, do you want red? No, he doesn't. He wants that one, though. Just give it to him. No blues. It's nice that you have that... You can actually press down and you drop through the floor. That's very, very handy. Especially when there's ice and snow. Um, yeah, I've not seen it, uh, Bad Santa. Bad Santa ain't bad, no? Does he become a good Santa at the end? Or is he always going to be a bad Santa? Pick up the present, mate. There you go. Oh. Right, taking a hit, we'll lose your present. Well, you don't have a green, doesn't it? Match your hat. That does not match your hat. It does match my jumper. Right, you get three hits. Right, gotcha. Not as good that time. Um, oh, it's a new record. Hope you're well, Ox, by the way. Bad Santa is a real classic. Uh, it's one of my favourites. Watch it every year, but it's no, no, but it's funny. Gremlins, yes, good, good film. A feel-good song. Or well, this one. Do you guys like the Christmas song? Ho, hey ho, from Freddie Callas. I don't know that one. I'm okay, Jamie. Hope you are well. Finished for Xmas now. Fantastic. Hope you're well though. Is your health okay, Mister Get It Okay? I hope so. 
<coughs> Mine's not good. <coughs> Mine's not good. I'm choking. <coughs> Hello to Vamp Amiga. Hello, boys. So I'm just kidding myself. Hope you're alright. Mate, no worries at all. Multitasking, no problem at all. Hello to Paul. Good to see you. Hello to Daishi. <coughs> not seen the second one. Dodge the bullets. Um. Yeah, Gremlins is fantastic. There was going to be root. There was rumours a long time ago. There was going to be a Gremlins three. I don't, I don't know if it's still going to happen. The dearest moderators. I've got all moderators here. One of them is on a boat, but he's here. His signal's not great, but he's here. Good to see you, Phantom Mega. Phantom Mega. Tomorrow, I might get a glimpse of your stream. I'm going out for a meal tomorrow, so I might be a little bit late. Uh, I'm not sure get it UK. I would like to. <clears throat> I would like to, but I will, I, will, I will announce it when I do it, if I do it. But I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Not every week. Got videos to do. <coughs> it's improved. Good. I'm pleased. Only saves Christmas. Yeah, that's fantastic. Love it. Yeah, my top three. Yeah, Home Alone, Only saves Christmas, and probably. Christmas Vacation, I expect. Yeah. But Ernest Says Christmas is a fantastic film. Which I do have. Well, one more go. Die Hard Train Places and Bad Santa. Train Places? Is that, is that Christmas? I bet I know why you watch that. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's go for a speed run. Let's try and get a decent score, shall we? You could use this one on the right. That'd be good. Oh. That's not so good. Right up there. Um. Yeah, I, yeah, Celtic Nights. I just say, it's, oh, Bird of the Genie. That's also very, very good. That is a Christmas film, but it's not a very long film. It's about seventy-five minutes long. It's not overly long. But yeah, that I must watch again. And only says Christmas. I usually watch that every year. That is brilliant. Yeah, Jim Varney died very, very young, didn't he? Very young. Uh, of course, he did the voice for Slinky the dog in Toy Story, didn't he? Right, not doing very well this one. So much for a speed run, Jamie. After look at that, after stream, Mister Mister Sweetest House, wasn't well. Uh, do you want this one? No, you are now. Yes, I got a coda here. Not a bad YouTube stream, is it? Having an awesome code on the on the, uh, on the chat, as well as all my moderators and fantastic viewers. It's the best chat ever. Brilliant film, Trading Places. Been a long time since I've seen it though. And of course, when I got my PC fixed, Rex had a poster in his living room. How you doing, Daishi? By the way. Uh. Nebshin, still here, buddy. Die Hard, Trading Places, Bad Santa. I must watch this, Bad Santa. I didn't realise it was as, as good as that, as what people are saying. How is Vamped Amiga, by the way? Hope you're well. It's the same reason we all watch Trading Places. Yes, I can think of two reasons, yes. <laughs> I'm going to leave it as that. Right. <laughs> I don't hate my collection, actually. Um... Back later, if we if I don't speak to you before Christmas, same to you, get it, UK. Have a fantastic Christmas, and hopefully you get some resting time too. Thank you, Vantamiga, you're too kind. Yeah, I think he was in his forty. Yeah, really young, wasn't he? I mean, I'm forty next year. Yeah. So yeah, they're my top three. So yeah, cannot go wrong with Home Alone. Absolutely brilliant. I watched that at the cinema with my dad and my brother. Early Stage Christmas that I didn't see at the cinema, but we did rent it for Blockbusters. And again, this one has been watched so many times. It it's like a classic. It is so good. But yeah, I say that's my top three. Really, really is good. Welcome back, Sean. Hope you're well, buddy. What are you doing this weekend? Right, have I played all of them? We've still got Coco Banana still to play. Make sure you tick them off the list, Jamie. Santa Rocks, yeah. Christmas Lemmings, <laughs> Delivery Boy, off the list. Turbo Santa, right. Coco Banana, the Xmas edition. 
And whatever ones, pardon me, whatever one I'm speaking to think of. Um, yes, it was cancer, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, is this on the CF card? It is, isn't it? Was it? Bad Santa 2. I didn't see the first one. My lord. Um, okay. This one shouldn't be too hard to find. It's in C. No, or did I put it in the Xmas folder? I might have put it in the Xmas folder. I did put it in the Xmas folder. Makes sense. There we go. It's pretty much the same game. Very, very, very much the same game. But again, a, a Christmas twist. Again, does have a few issues with the scroll on this one. But I think it's a really cool character. I really like him. Make a hammer beat of it. Yeah, John Candy also died very young, didn't he? He was a legend. He really was. Hmm. Yeah, Bernard Genie. Yeah, I must watch that. That is good. Coco, Co Coco Banana. Yeah, I've got VHS. Yeah, it's about... Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, 70 minutes long. One of the shortest films I've seen. But again, really good. Uh, okay, so options. Have a look at the options. I have got it on DVD, but unfortunately it's, a, it's not as Region 2. It wasn't released as Region 2. My lord, how difficult is that? I'll do it like that then. Right, so World 1, yes. Um... Oh, my lord, that is one sensitive mouse. My lord. Jamie is the, as a 1982 player, just like me. Oh, yeah, high, high five, 1982. Coco Banana, I like what you did there, I like the icons there. You're 47, mate, you're still young. Still young. Fantastic, mate. Yeah, quite a few. I think Robert Gray was also born in 1982. Am I right, Robert Gray? I think I am. Could be the second time in one stream. We've been right twice. 44, you're still young, buddy. And Mr. Andrew Dubai has also been treating himself. Yes, fantastic. We're all treating ourselves. And why not? We only live once. Right, again, it's not in shots. Now these enemies respawn all the time. Now there is one difference I've noticed in this game, apart from the Santa Claus hat, but also the wasps do move around a bit differently on this one. Not all of them, but some of them. But you've got to try and collect all the items. Now there is a bit of an issue with the scroll, exactly the same as the original game. But yeah, this game did have a few issues. I still think it's a really good game, but yeah, now we should stop by Santa Claus. But yeah, you've got to try and collect all the items per screen, and you move on to the next screen. But you've got to try and find the letters, which gives you additional life, I think. But you also have the fire... That! That fire... That, they move differently on this version. They don't do it like that. But if you hold the fire button down for a long period of time, we're all young. Then you can fight a bigger beam. Not quite as extreme as our type, but yeah, it's good. But yeah, watch out for those evil wasps. Those. Because they respawn. Yeah, jumping from ledge to ledge can be a bit of an issue. So, yeah, pretty all perfect can be an issue. Also pick up the occasional key along the way. So, yeah, copyright 2018. In the other version, they don't do that. We are all young, exactly. That'd be a lot bit more, that's a lot more easier way of saying it. Now you do have a certain quantity of energy, which believe it or not is your heart, but you can pick them up over the course of the game. Some of them are very high up, which I suppose is understandable, because they're handy. Ah, okay, your birthday is on the 23rd. How are you doing, by the way, Celtic Knight? How's life treating you? Been treating yourself to any games recently? 
Now some enemies take more than one hit, including those dinosaurs. They take two full beam shots, or four small shots. Kill those. But again, like all the other things, they should be spawn and respawn very quickly. Uh, birthday of... Okay, I've been, I've been right on the calendar. Elite is 1982. Bananas. Yeah. Whoever has a spirit on Amiga is forever young. Exactly. I mean, it, it, it's scary. It's all, also, you know, how old these games are now, some of them. Like, 30 years plus. It's crazy, isn't it? But we're still playing it, and we're still enjoying it, and games are still being made for it. I mean, that is fantastic. You cannot argue with that. Right, is it going to respawn? Yes, it did. Of course it respawns. Everything respawns in this game. Even your character, you haven't got enough lives. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It doesn't have quite as many skills. You can't fire as many angles as Toki. But yeah, wasps feature here, they always do. Wasp bats, they are the worst. Meg will never die, exactly, exactly, Ram Cowie. And of course you're helping with that, and doing a fan <laughs> fantastic job with that. And we thank you, we all thank you for all your really hard work, keeping the Mega community alive. All doing our bit for the Mega, and the City 4 of course, all doing our bit. Fifty-five, you're still young, buddy. Your head still feels like a teenager. Whoa, Jamie! Right, avoid the spikes. Right. Again, it's not a game. We've got to spell the word extra. I think it gives you another life. Because that pixel perfect is a bit of an issue. It's very easy to not land on the edge. Even though you might think you're going to land on the edge. Nice. Nice sound. It's good, isn't it? I do like it. Well, it's just, if the scroll was a bit better, it'd be brilliant. I really would like it. Oh, really? We shoot three. Nice. Yeah, I cannot wait for that, Mr. Raw. Did an amazing job of that. And it's nice they're trying something different, because of course now on the reshoot 3, it's, it's, it's going up screen, so they're trying something new, but Richard Lowison did say this one is going to be more difficult than the last. I remember him saying that when I streamed it last, he said we need to make this game more difficult. Uh, looking forward to the 8... Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? How many did you get right, Mr. Rusty James? We had, a, we had a little bet, no money involved, it was just a little game we played, of how many we can get right of the remaining ten that still have to be announced. And I don't think I've got any right, I think I've got them all wrong. But I was quite surprised, but I'm not, like I say, early on today, I'm not surprised with the psychosis, I'm not surprised with Factor, factor 5. I didn't think we'd see Tulloken on there, I didn't think we'd see Share of the Beast on there. I didn't think there'd be any uh, any oceans, but of course one did creep on there. But yeah, I wasn't surprised. But you said you thought our type was going to be on there. I didn't think our type would be on there. I don't think we're going to see any IREMs. It's a shame. I, mean, I would have loved to see our type on there. But no, we didn't. But there's still some good ones on there. And a few surprises too. We've got some burgers, Mr. Raw. A bit of burger. He loves some burgers. We all love a bit of burger. Juicy burger. Take it easy, Kite 6 g Have a great weekend, buddy. I look forward to your next upload. Uh, burger. Some of them have eyes. Now, I don't know if you get additional skills in this game, but you've got the icon down the bottom of the fireball. That's sort of telling you that maybe you can get additional weapons. Maybe. Right, one. Nom nom nom, yes. Stream's over? No, it's not. Unless you're watching it back, not live. But no, it's still live. It's currently quarter to 11, and I'm still streaming.
Maybe do a refresh. Maybe that's what is needed. Oh, it's extend, is it? Oh, okay. Well spotted, that man. Well spotted. Oh, my lord. How many times I killed this guy? Green, the music's just superb, it is. No, stream is definitely still going. <laughs> if, if it's not, then something's gone horribly wrong. But awesome viewers, the stream is still active. Yes! Stump car, yeah, that's a good game. Didn't play in all the days though. Um, you did mention it, well done, well done buddy. You got one correct, I got none, I got a big fat zero. But I, I am still very surprised Lemons didn't make the list. I thought Lemons, because Lemons is pretty much on every system. Same with Worms. But yeah, it is side notice of DMA design, like I said. But I was quite surprised, because you know, if it's got a mouse, you know, that's crying out to be on there. But nope, not to be. But yeah, Simon of Saucer was a bit of a surprise, and also Dragon's Breath was also a bit of a surprise. I'm, being a little, I'm also a little bit surprised that Zool made the list because they're, you know, advertising Chubba Chubs. For that reason, I didn't think games like that would be picked. Anything that's advertising a product, you know, guess you need the rights to put it on there, I suppose. But yeah, there are a lot on there which I think should be on there, but wasn't on there. But of course, you can add more on there, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> take it easy, OSG, take it easy, buddy. Um, guys, it's time to smash the like button. Thank you. Thank you very much. But yes, there will definitely be an unboxing for that. When I get it, of course. But a lot of things still waiting to arrive. There'll be quite a few unboxings coming up in the near future. Um, Super Fog. Is that on there? I don't know. I took a screenshot earlier on today. Is it on there? Um. No, no, it's not. I'll be mad in a minute. Um. Paradroid 90, quack, which is good to see. Cad Cadaver, F16, Supercars 2, Worms. Another World, Zool, Product X, Z Kick Out, Kick Off 2, RK Paul, Dragon's Breath, Simon the Sorcerer, Alien Breed Special, Alien, uh, Alien Breed 3D. Oh, to hit there. Um, uh, People Dreams, no surprise there really. Sentinel, never played it before. Alien Breed, Chaos Engine, Lost Patrol, Stunt Car Racer, Speedball 2. Titans of Fox, I'm pleased to see that, but a little bit surprised. And All Terrain Racing, Racer, is there. Battles Chess, and California Games were also quite surprising. So yeah, a mixture really. But yeah, quite surprising Super Fox wasn't there actually. Uh, STD Foundation, good to see you. Super Fool. Why? I can't pick up that part for some reason. I've never played it, Gundio. Never, never, I've heard of it, I've never played it before. But it's not a bad thing to have games on there that I've not played. It's a good thing. Are you going to get one? How are you doing, STD Foundation? Nice stream, thank you. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, me, I can't usually get them because my girlfriend's a vegetarian. Oh, really? We're talking about burgers, are we? Which pretty much makes me a vegetarian, but I do love the taste of a good burger. We well, could have a, uh, a veggie burger, can't you? I've never tried a fillet of fish from McDonald's. Never tried one. Yeah, veggie burgers are okay. That must be difficult, yeah, being, yeah, living a vegetarian. Yeah, I suppose in a way you probably would be a vegetarian, or feel like a vegetarian, yeah. So does, does, does she eat all that corn stuff? 
I wasn't keen on that. I tried that once. I didn't like that. Key, Jamie. Key. Key. McChicken? You may be hungry. <laughs> Been a while since I had a McChicken. Where are you from, buddy? Anyone just tuning in? This is Coco Banana, the Xmas edition, which is why he's got a Santa Claus hat on. Came out year 2018. But yeah, gotta get a key. We won't get far without a key, Jamie. There you go, we have the key, we have the secret. We have the key to another place. Star Trek Discovery. Maybe. Crit critical drinker was right. Do you know what? I might I might actually have a beer tomorrow. Not today, tomorrow, maybe. You're from the Antarctica. I'm in the middle of the Antarctica. And 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 an art an art oh, I can't say it, my lord. The Anartis I can't even say it. The Anartist uh, I can't speak, I can't, you can't spell, I can't speak. <coughs> no surprise, no surprise. Ugh. Right. Why is my health not going up? It should be going up. Maybe we'll pick up a certain quantity of hearts to extend it one heart. You're laughing at me. See, I don't need to drink alcohol to speak stupid. I do get my words in the- WHOA! Major twist! Evil boss, go away. He's got a big, big bottom, isn't he? A huge bottom. Right. Oh. You can charge it in the air, but not if you jump at an angle. Only if you jump into a spot. I'm going to wait for him to arrive on the scene. Oh, no. Not him, the bee. Oh, okay. That's fine, we get checkpoints. I can't read- I can't read that! Uh. No, I can't read that. I'll be all day reading that. That's why I got so many outtakes on my long plays. I'm saying that all my videos have long plays pretty much. Oh, I'll get a major twist. Absolutely so. Guaranteed. It's an impressive word though, it's long. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Got a lot of letters. Right, we need one more letter. That I can say. Extend. We haven't got it yet. We need one more letter. This game also has a boss battle, which I'm assuming is going to be the same as the original game as well. Fireball to go extreme distances. M the floor message master. <laughs> because of the metric system. Yeah, I found a bit of a letdown, put it mildly, especially the season that on at the moment. Oh the f oh the you're talking about the pulp fiction, yeah, the royal with cheese, yes. Yes! The classic moment of yes. Good film, got it, yeah, brilliant film. I went to that out for, oh, for Blockbusters as well. There wasn't many films we didn't rent out. They just spawn right on top of you. Especially when you can't see ahead of you. Yeah, so you're sort of risking it for a biscuit. Thank you, thank you very much. Very kind of you. Now, now. Right, I forgot the tactic on this one. Now, now. Oh, I've completely forgotten the uh, tactic here. Shoot from this far back. That's a 
hasn't been many boss battles in the stream today, is there? My energy. How critical is that? Well, it's very samey, but it works. There you go, it exploded. He turns into a key. We have the key. And we didn't get the A. Uh, uh, we didn't get the D. Oh, oh we did get the D. Woohoo! That might actually be a bonus stage. It is a bonus stage. 49 life, thank you. They made Dr. Mario rubbish too. Uh, Grand Spirit on PlayStation 5 and slightly cheating the Spectrum Net. Uh, question for everyone, what is your most wanted game for 2022? Uh, modern? Mate, I have no idea. Probably... It's a good question though. Retro, uh, it's gonna be... Um... Probably... Probably V-Shoot 3, I expect. Um... Boss... I always get this wrong. Mr. War, I always get this one wrong. Boss... Boss something. Boss... Not Boss Panic. Boss Machine? Boss Machine. That looks good. Also, uh... On the CD4, I'm looking forward to the... Sequel to... Zeta Wing. There probably will be a Mortal Kombat 18, and guess what? Mr. Spirit's House will not play it. Um... I think now. Sonic on the play, uh, on the CD4, oh my god. Sonic on the CD4, look forward to that. Modern game, I can't think of any, but yeah, we'll go with Mortal Kombat, yeah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 12, I suppose, is next in line. There you go, got some martinis. Pineapples. Why do, why do wasps appear on bonus stages? There you go, please support our team, even die on a bonus stage. And keep the veteran of the Amiga going. There we go. Gonna be joining the Spectrum next game. Me too. Nice hat. Thank you. Only okay, Christmas times. Amiga mode is on. Has anyone ever seen the Matrix demo? How amazing does that city look? It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Nothing to do with her being a woman. It's to do with her being a terrible performer. Uh, but they will scapegoat the fans to attack them. Missed off again. <coughs> <coughs> Not again! I'm not going to the same colour as my Santa Claus hat. <coughs> not a winning tactic. No, it's not the last time, it won't be the first time. Um, that boss, boss machine, I always get that wrong. I love my eyes are watering. Yeah, I always get that wrong. I keep saying boss panic for some reason. Hello to Henrik Larson, good to see you buddy. <coughs> Don't chug on coat, I won't. Watch Carol for another Christmas, 1964 with Peter Sellers. The only Peter Sellers film I've got is The Pink Panther. Right, I've played all the games on the list and I've choked twice. Are you on eggnog? No, I'm getting water. <laughs> right, how do we quit? Is it going to be one of these options again? Yes, it is. There you go. Right, can anyone think of any more Christmas games? I've played them all. Um, I've played every single one on the list. Hello, Disco Poppy. Haven't seen you for a while. How you been, buddy? A Christmas unboxing? I've got nothing to unbox. I'm waiting for them to arrive. I don't ha- <laughs> Yes, I did. I remember it well, buddy. Yes. There was also a video I did. It was basically me hic hiccuping. That video did incredibly well. It really did. But yeah, there was one I'd show. It was after completing Altered Beast, wasn't it? Um, right, what games? There was also a new game which I've got here, actually. I forgot about this one. But I didn't get far. Uh, again, it's on disc. Um... That one. I think it's a demo. We'll give it a try. Yeah, I remember it well, buddy. I remember it well. Weird dreams. It's not Christmas related, though. But yeah, if I do some more bonus streams, maybe I'll give it another try. But no, do you know what? I've never, ever tried eggnog before. Never. 
Um, <clears throat> modern Horizon. I haven't answered that question yet, have I? For modern, I don't know. I really don't know. Mr. Roy is still here, buddy. Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't know when it comes to modern. I'm really not sure. Right, Pixel Nation. This I played yesterday, but I didn't get far. Doesn't have the greatest scroll. But then I think it's early. I think it's early days. I think it might be at the bonus uh, demo stages. Max Knight Xmas. Yes, it's confirmed. It's a demo. And a very, very small screen too. Mine's 2016. So maybe it is finished. Right, let's make this a little bit bigger. How did, it, how did it happen? Basically, I'm trying to drink too quickly. I'm trying to talk and drink at the same time. I'm choking. Uh, yes, it really does. I think they are a mick for a little twist with the gameplay. Yes, a bit simmer, maybe. Well, I'm out of here for now. Hope to s Have a good day. Have a Enjoy. Ha hello to Joke Low. Good to see you. Extra sermons? I played it earlier on today. But yeah, if we can't think of any more, maybe we'll go back to it. Fire Nice Xmas is fantastic. ATR. Jamie, there's plenty of ones you can pick. There's more than enough there. Maybe it's an ATR, why not? Uh, like instructions. The problem with this game is I can't seem to use my weapon and I can't read. I also can. Play as the title Max and travel through 36 levels placed in five worlds You're to free your brothers from the cause of the evil dragon. Can Max move in all directions, jump and climb the ladder? In each level, you must collect all the items to get to the exit. The exception is the heart. That Max does not have to collect to get to the exit, but collects it adds one life. Opponents in the game move in different ways and at different rates. But when I played it the other day, I couldn't actually use my sword. He's walking around with a sword in his hand, but I couldn't actually use it. So, a mystery. Hope you're well, low below. Right. Hope you're well. Uh, I have some. Purge, 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 Purto, 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 Purto Rico Egnor called Coquito. Going to have some later. It's difficult to pronounce, but it sounds nice. Why not? Go for it. Let's see. It looks interesting. I just saw a demo of the dragon, and that's it. I will be watching out of this. <clears throat> Good thing I'm not drinking today, isn't it? I just saw a demo of the dragon, and that's it. Where's my character? Down there. Uh, we'll be watching out of... Watch... Holy moly, Jamie. We'll be watching out for this one for sure. Angela Bryan and Mr. Raw. Jamie, that was too difficult to read. It shouldn't have been. Apparently, Mr. Fabdemilia is streaming tomorrow. <laughs> Whoo wee Right, so to jump... To jump high, you've got to hold the direction down longer. If you let it go, you'll do a miniature jump. But there's a bit of an issue with his scroll. But yeah, you've got a sword. You just don't know how to use it. I don't know how you use it. So you've just got to avoid it across. But you've got to try and collect the keys. Um, yeah, it's a small character though. But again, it's got a Christmas thing. Uh, but this one up here, again, it's a bat which appears in the game. They always mean any game they feature it. It's very quick. Right time. He does, he looks very small, doesn't he? He looks like a small little character, like you say. Go! Go! That was close. Now, the furthest I've got is level 2. Again, again, I can't fire, I don't know how you use your sword. Where's the exit? Oh no, I've got to go down there again. There's no time of it, is there? Uh, brilliant games come out in the next few months. Ye yes, yes, mate. Yes, mate. I didn't realise Proxima 3 was, was close to completion. I didn't know that. I knew Devil's Temple was. Because they're accepting pre orders. Yeah, I cannot wait for um, boss, boss Machine. That'd be good. I love boss battles in games. It's a shoot em up as well. Right, we'll do this again. Again, wait for the ghost, wait for the bat. No, 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 dead. 
One life, that's all you get. Yes, ATR is good as well. That is really, really good. Rusty James, how are you, sir? He's on holiday. A much-deserved holiday. It's homemade by a guy my wife works with from a family recipe. That sounds good. The cat's... <laughs> a Playmobil, yeah, yeah. It's hard to keep up with all these... Yeah, exactly. There are so many, isn't there? <clears throat> but it's, it's, it's so awesome. It really is. Jamie, it's not even shot, you pillock. Yeah, his jumping's not great, that's a myth. A cutie patty, yes. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Okay. But yeah, this is also on floppy disk. Again, we've got that even bat. No. No, he's gonna catch up with me. Oh, there you go. Right, go down the bottom right this time, Jamie. Collect the key, go to the exit door. That's probably going to be as far as I'm going to get. Because again, I don't know how to use the sword. Maybe it might, be, might, be, might need a two-button joystick, maybe. It's awesome, yeah, yeah. We are so lucky it's still being... Yeah, it's, who would have thought in the other days that we'd still be getting games at this time in our lives? I don't, I don't think anyone would have thought that. When Commodore went bust... No one was going to be expecting us to be still getting games in the year 2020. I mean, we wouldn't have done, would we? We would never have thought of that. Right, um... But yeah, I don't know how you use your sword. So yeah, I just keep getting killed all the time. I'm guessing maybe it's a two-button. Um... Am I back to the start again? I tried space bar, it didn't work. I tried that yesterday. A cute, a cute patty, yes. I'm dead already. I'm dead already. <clears throat> well, at least there's checkpoints. That's all right. But yeah, I've never ever tried eggnog. That's random. I've never actually tried it before. Right. So, grab the ladder. Right. Go down, collect the key. Go back up ladder. Wait for the right time. Make a move. Oh yes, I'm pleased. Yes, I'm pleased you got that. I'm really pleased you got that. But I have to admit, when Andres posted it on Discord, I'd never heard of it before. Yeah, that one completely utterly passed me by. But it looks like a nice box too. All right. So, Rusty James, you all set for Christmas now? All ready to go? Right. Pick up a present. So, is your character's not very... ...quick, but the enemies are. Whew. Mods talking to mods. It's great. It's great. It's good to see. It's good. It's not all about me. It's also about you guys as well. Also, good a good thing. But you, you talk to each other. It's good. A relaxing adventure game with physical gimmicks. Yeah, completely nutty passed me by. I hadn't heard of that one before. A mod chat. Yeah, sounds good to me. Right, we're safe there. Again, I can't outrun the bat. The bat keeps. Catching up with me. Like a really, really poor version of it. Not seen this before? No. Nope. It was a new one on me as well. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't know how you f how you use your sword. It's like Sword of Soden. I know it's really random. Your character has a sword and you also have a shield, but you don't actually use your short shield in that game. It's just a thing he holds. You don't actually use it. I'm sure there is a way to use the sword, but I just don't know how. I haven't figured it out. Which is why I'm thinking maybe it might be a two-button joystick. But yeah, spacebar doesn't do it. Maybe enter. Right. There you go. We made it at last. Maybe one day I can become a mod. We'll be. We'll be when I get back, mate. What day do you get back? 
frame rate, yeah, it does need a bit, yes, exactly, especially the movements of your character, yes. Do you collect the flags? No. Hello to fake user, good to see you. Down here. Right. Yeah, I've not got past this one before. Oh my lord. Oh! You don't have unlimited continues. There we go. Short and sweet. I hope you are well, buddy. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jamie. Could I have a Mr. Emulation kit for Christmas? I would love to do that for you. I've never used one before. However, quite a lot of channels are using these misters. They look really good. I'm really impressed. Really impressed. How do you quit? See, this one you can't quit. You can't use a sword, you can't quit either. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, Jamie. Back tomorrow. Oh, it just takes you to the home workbench stream. That's fine. We'll reboot. Yeah, it's been a long time since I had a holiday. A long time. Especially abroad. Right, it's ten past eleven. Let's give ATR a try, shall we? And a little bit maybe of Um Far Nice. Why not? Oh, Jamie, take the disc out the drive. That will help. Right. Do it again. How's I treating you, fake user? What does this character carry? What does this character carry a sword for if he cannot even kill a single bat with it? I don't know. Like I say, it was a demo. Maybe it could be a two-button joystick situation. Maybe. Don't know. But then there was, um, on the very early demo of uh, Tarkin AGA, you could play the game, but you couldn't actually shoot anything. It was just, you know... A tryout, but yeah, you couldn't earn any score, you couldn't pick up any weapons, it was just a simple from A to B, which is fine, which is fine. You can't, in fact, you can't actually die in that game, but that one, you need your sword to be operational. I'm sure there's a way, I'm sure there's a will. Right, so now we're going to go on to the WHD load uh, and find it here. ATR. Yippee! So what are you guys doing at the weekend? I know I probably asked that once already, but what are you doing at the weekend? But yeah, there's got to be a way to use the sword. Got to be. Has to be. Right. A-T-R. Where are you? This is where I'm blind as a bat. No, we'll just do it this way, Jamie. It's easier. Few by name, it'll be easier. Arcade Club, putting up your Christmas tree? Fantastic. Well, you've got a little bit more space than I have, Mr. Mr. Speedy's house. I'd love to put a Christmas tree up. I want to put my Christmas tree up, but there's just nowhere to put it. There's just no space. Testing out your Amstrad Mega PC. Everyone's busy, which is good to see. I'm going out for a meal. I'm going out about... I think the table's booked for 6 o'clock. So yeah, like I said to Vamped Amiga, I might be a tad late. Um, so I might catch the end of your stream. And then after that, editing, I expect, recording, who knows. I'm not going to do it all the time. Is it AGA? ATF. AT Ultimate. Might be a it might be might be might be. Hello to Mega Old School. True, true, very, very true. Yeah, it's a bit like Lemmings. Yeah, it's not called Xmas Lemmings on here, it's called Lemming uh well I've got it as Lemmings Holiday. Good point. It's a very good point. Well, there's that one. Good shout. Yes, absolutely so. 
Who are you going with the Xmas work? It's not. It's not an Xmas party. It's not a works party. No, it's it's me, my my mum, my stepdad, my brother, and my two nieces. We're going to a restaurant called the French Connection. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I don't see my brother much. Um. All terrain racing. It's not there. Where is it? Am I blind as a bat? So there's all terrain racing. Doing the tougher levels. Imagine playing Barbarian Palace without any... Yeah, that'd be... That, that wouldn't make sense, would it? It wouldn't make sense. There you... You're looking at it. Yeah, I'm looking for the... I'm looking for the Christmas one. Am I being blind? I'm looking for the Christmas one. That's what I'm looking for, matey. Ah, maybe, 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 baby. Could be, could be. Let's have a look. That's my phone. How you doing, Amiga Old School? Hello, Adam. Good to see you. Yeah, I think you think I'm looking. I think I think you think I'm trying to find the original. Which, if I can't find the 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 other one, then maybe I will. It was in the other folder as all. Oh, okay. Maybe a Ninkum poop, isn't it? In all, yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I I haven't been to an a, an Xmas work party for a very long time. Oh, is it? I'm getting confused here now. How you doing, Adam? How's life treating you? Are you in your attic at the moment of time? Terrain. Hmm. 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 Terra pods. Terra's big adventure. Where are you? Where are you? Getting silly now, Jamie. Getting silly now. If a PD may be in the pod directory. No, I have played it before. I've played it before. I think I played it last year. Or maybe the year before that. But I've definitely played it on stream. I'm just blind. Absolutely blind as a bat. But then I can't find it. I, I'm, I don't think I've been a nincompoop here. Other times, yes. It's too cold. Yeah, I mean, I have to admit, I've got two heaters in here now. One there, one over there. But yeah, I have to admit, when I'm streaming, I don't really need... Ah, um, yeah, I probably don't need the, the heaters when I've got the streaming lights. Where are we looking? All-terrain racer. Xmas, you looked up for ATR. Why can't I find it? Mm -hmm. I'm Wally. I'm Wally, me. Yes, I am. I am blind. I am absolutely blind as anything here. Well, I have to admit, this week, we haven't had one single frost down here in, you, in, in, in Kent. It's been really, really good. I'm quite surprised. Every day I've got up in the morning to go to work, not been one single frost, which is quite surprising. I 
I can't see it. Am I being an ink? Am I being an ink and poop here? Where am I? Hello to Mark Gordon. Good to see you. How are you doing, buddy? Am I being an ink and poop? Am I being blind as a bat? I can't see it. I cannot see it. Yes, we'll do that. Because I'm embarrassing myself, to, not only to myself, but to the nation. <laughs> um, right, yeah, we'll do that. How you doing, Mark? Good to see you. Um, yes, they are going up. Yes, they are. Unfortunately. I mean, some of my bills I've managed to get down, but yes, yeah, some of them are going up in price. And yes, the electricity is going up in price. But I suppose this summer year, you know, we have to use heaters. I'm using storage heaters, not using the main heater, because it, it's too close to my mega boxes, so I don't use it. Um, but yeah, fortunately, it's gone up quite a lot, actually. It's over, like, not quite double, but it's not too far away from double, which is annoying, really. Is it the same for anyone else? My other half from Oh really? From Bromley? What Bromley South? But I kidnapped her 13 years ago to move up north. Oh really? Ah, that's interesting. Who is who has the Mr. System? Is it any good? Um it was Charlie Farr on Twitter. Not Twitter. Twitch, sorry. He's got one. Well, it's there, but not the one I want. Oh, this is embarrassing, Jamie. Uh, where are you, Ox? That was a question to you, not to me. This is bizarre. I've played it before. I have played this before on stream. Why can't I find any of these games? What is going on here? Is it called Christmas Fire and Ice? Maybe. So we can see. Yes, but it's not on. I don't think it's in there. I've checked. I only put that in there yesterday. Yeah, it's not that simple. But in saying that, I'm getting a right major twist here. But yeah, that didn't work, unfortunately. I do wonder if it's here. Nope. Nope. Not there either. Mm. Hold on. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't think it's there, Swedish House. I'll have a look, though. Um... I should put a question on you, shouldn't I? Yeah, I put this on there yesterday. But yeah, it didn't work, unfortunately. Uh, Santa Rudolph, Santa Escape, Santa Rocks. Yeah, none of these worked. Holiday sh I've done that one. So, Turbo Santa. Don't know. F? I'm looking at F. F. I'm good, but I got three nights... Oh, I've, I've not... Oh, there you go. Um, I've only done night shift twice, and that was a couple of years ago. Basically, I was training someone else up. This is when I was doing weekend work. But yeah, I had to do a two night shifts, because I was training the other guy. And uh, yeah, it was okay to begin with. Uh, but yeah, it got to, and I was doing six till six. I did it two what, nights in a row, and it, it was fine. I got through it pretty much all right, until it got to about, I don't know, about an hour left of my shift. And all of a sudden, it started hitting me like a ton of bricks. And yeah. Trouble is, I got home, and then I, all of a sudden, I wasn't tired. So I just kept thinking, well, do you go you to bed now? I'm not tired. But yeah, I was going to bed about, I don't know, 8, 9 o'clock. You wake up about 4 o'clock. Two hours later, you're back at work again. But yeah. Crazy. 
found it, but yeah, what an absolute palaver that was. Absolutely mental. Right, we're there. Uh, I've got, yes, I've got one of these compact sashes. And yes, a lot of them I've put on there, but it does need to be tidied up. It's, it's, it's all over the place. It does need a good sort out. Yeah, six or six, yeah. But yeah, that's when I was doing weekends, which I love doing that. I was doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 12 hours and then getting the rest of the week off. It was fantastic, I loved it. But then eventually the company stopped doing it. I went back to normal shifts. There we go. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah, what you described is exactly how it is. Oh, right, you're with it. Oh. I didn't have this as a, a disc back in the older days, but this music is fantastic. It really is good. I wish there was more than just one level. One level's not enough. Has anyone ever completed Fire and Ice? The original Fire and Ice. Anyone finished it? I still have not finished it. Perfect Christmas game. Exactly. What did what did the play? Music sounds fantastic. But yeah, you've got to try and jump with that going up. And it gives you this boost. Your character can't swim. Oh, okay. There we go. Jamie, you're playing badly now. Is that better? He wasn't missing much, I was talking absolute garbage anyway. Holy moly, music is waking you up. Great that you're here, uh, uh, then. It's good to see you. I know it's been quite difficult for you over the, the last few months and years because of your shitting pattern. But yeah, when you go back to work, how long are you off for? It's great to have you on board. Cool. I think the puppy is on here somewhere. I think there's two puppies on this game. Get an exit door and you get an extra life, but it's no point in this game because there's only one level. What about you, Andrew Brian? How are you spending Christmas? Oh, you know, actually, I know you've seen your, um, your cousin, aren't you? Killian. Yes, I remember now. I hope Killian's alright. When you see him, say him I said hi. Alright. Uh, I haven't got many. <coughs> I've got the Revenge of the Pink Panther. I don't know what I've got. But in the older days, he was always renting them out from um, Blockbuster. My stepdad, however, he does actually have the box set, which I bought him one Christmas. And um, yeah, a couple of times I've actually borrowed that. But yeah, the only one I've got is Return of the Pink Panther, which is also strange in a way because that was the only one that didn't appear in that box set. It was released separately. But yeah, I should buy the box set, really. But yeah, we rented those out quite a lot in the other days. Uh, with your family, and hope you play some games. Fantastic. Good to see. And possibly some unboxings? Maybe. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few on my channel uh, coming up. Not all at the same time, but yeah, I've, I've treated myself quite a bit, actually. Why not? And it's a, a mixture as well. Yeah. And I've got more time now to do it, so it should be fine. Whoa! Okay, why not kill the bird? Should have done. It's gone quick, isn't it? It's gone quick. Uh, yeah, it's gone really quick. It's currently half past 11 here. Uh, maybe some unboxing. Look forward to that. It's back on the 4th of January, then Gen... Jan, then January and February are going to be mental at work, I suspect. So we're going to rest a lot this Christmas. May get a few more completions. What Erlen has been doing this year is he's 
basically competing in a lot of games, but he's actually added them up, which is one thing I should have done, really. You need to sort of keep tabs of what you've actually long played, what games you've finished for the first time. I think he said something about 53 games he's competed this year, so he's done really, really well. And not, they're not short games, some of them are really, really long. Um, but yeah, it's a good idea, but you've been playing Gex. You played Gex 3D, didn't you? What one are you playing now? Are you playing the next one? Is it Gex 3? Yeah, Gex 3D, I liked it. Yes, the, there was issues with the camera. But yeah, I completed some... It's been quite a few first-time completions for me this year. And a lot of live stream completions as well. Some good ones, too. Uh, I've got it on Christmas Eve. 9.30 in the morning on Christmas Eve. Luckily, it's not too far away. But yeah, then I'll be fully jabbed. But by the sounds of it, most have had it and uh, no side effects. It's just like aching the arm. But yeah, the first boost, that's not the first boost. The first jab I had, I got it really bad. I, it, it, I got everything. I was ill, really, really ill. And all that work. The trouble is, my boss still wanted the work to be done. And I did the work, I did three jobs. But it was horrible. I should have, I should have gone sick. I was sick. And everything. But the second one, the sort of thing, absolutely fine. Oh, hello everybody! Good to see you. Here we go. Follow me. Come with me, you want to live. No surgery. I hope it goes well. You've been through a lot. You really have. What are they going to do? You don't have to answer that. Fingers crossed. Goes alright. 58. I need to add, I need to think about mine. Oh, I have to count them all up. But yeah, I haven't had many first time completions. Because a lot of long plays I've been doing this year, I've already done. I've already completed them. Uh, but yeah, Zenon 2, completed that for the first time this year. X out, cross out, we want to call it. That was the first time completion this year, and also Disposable Hero was the first time completion, and I completed it on live stream for both of those. Swift, I completed it on live stream, that wasn't my first time. Uh, One Step Beyond, of course, was my first time, and I did a long hair of that. Um, still waiting for the completion of Blood Money. One day, I will, I will successfully complete that game. I will do it one day. But yes, good luck with your surgery. Hope it goes away. And I wish. I wish. It's not impossible. I can do it. When I give it a lot of time. I will do it. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to give up. My last few streams haven't been great attempts. But it's just a learning thing. Each attempt is another try. Another attempt to learn the patterns of the enemies. But yeah, you need the right weapons at the right time. Losing lives is very costly, because everything is so expensive in that game. It's a great shooter. Yeah, I love it. it there, it took me to the year 2021 to finally get the first one completion. But it's crazy. I've had this conversation in the past. The amount of confidence it gives you. Because, you know, I've been trying to complete that game for years. And all of a sudden, I completed that three times in, in a week. You just get that boost. One minute you, you haven't done it, and then you complete it three times. Confidence is high. Same as Tiger 2. I completed that in 2017, and again, tried many, many times, and now I've got that first time completion. I've completed about four, maybe five times since then. Well, unfortunately, I've lost one of the puppies. I don't mind, I've got one of them, though. And shown the beast. I mean, that is a classic example once again. Oh, poo! Um, yeah, I think I've completed that about eight times now. It's amazing how much confidence it gives you. How did you creep by? Poodle. Hello, Karen, you force what falls to no one at all. I hope you're well, though. But of course, it's very early for you. Very late for me, early for you. Right. I think I'm going to make this the last game, actually. I'm, I'm feeling a bit tired now, I have to admit. I'm just starting to get a little bit heavy. Having a prostate shave, so basically having half taken out. 
Hopefully it does the trick. Hopefully it makes you better. I hope so. Oh, poo! I missed a key somewhere. But yeah, hopefully I'll get a lot of videos done this shutdown. Right, there's one. Where's that possible bit of key? It's probably a bird, isn't it? One side that said it is. Ah, it's probably you. No, it's not you. Where's the key? Hybris is fantastic. That I've not finished, but I know Andrew the Blind has. Jamie, if you take any longer, the time boss is going to arrive on the scene. To speed you up. Where is this piece of key? <laughs> Where is this key? Long players. You! It's gotta be you, isn't it? There you go. My lord, Jamie. <clears throat> but yeah, hybris, I'm, I, yeah, I'm not great at it. Yeah, I haven't sort of mastered its um, power ups yet. Right, follow me. We've got to think about it though, because that's. I think it happens if you take too long, it can actually kill the puppy as well. It kills in a really nasty way. Wings of Death is superb, yeah, I can't get far though. Have I? No, it's a lethal ex lethal excess. Lethal excess is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that is a difficult one. I played that quite recently. Yeah, that is a really challenging shoot up. There you go. Right, it's gonna kill the puppy, isn't it? Um, but yeah, those ones are very difficult. Come on, mate, we've got to get out of here. You're lucky, buddy. You're hanging in there. Can you survive? One more. No, he's dead. Nasty way to go. Well, not expertly done. Not expertly done. We're there. Uh, make sure you get plenty of time. Mate, I will do. Yes, I will do. <coughs> Indeed, Hybris is not extremely hard compared to other shooters much such as Project X, Disposable Hero, Silkworm. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? I've completed all of those ones. Some on live stream. Leave what XS, Z out, and of course, R type. Absolutely so. Yes, I will do, buddy. I will. I will. Right, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day. I have to admit, my eyelids are getting a bit heavy. Um. Afraid not, one of my New Year's resolutions would be to finish a shoot map. I've, yes, I remember you saying you've never completed a shoot map before. I have never actually completed one, so gonna need to try one will be my first. What one are you gonna play? What one are you gonna try? Yeah, go for it. I mean, there's some really difficult ones there, but yeah. Give it a whirl, buddy. Give it a whirl. But there are some really, really good shoot maps on the on Amiga. They're really, really good. Cannot go wrong. Um, the Mister isn't rubbish, however, but there are a number of add-ons that make the experience better. Hmm. Cheers, guys. Yeah, there might be some more bonus streams, but like I say, I'll update you. And a vlog, I'm going to try and try and try to try and do a vlog if I can. I'll try my best. But anyway, guys, it's really good to hear from you. Thank you. I'm a bit tired now. So I'm going to get an early night. It's got a lot to do. But I will not be working, so that's a good thing. But working on the channel instead. Thank you, and good safe safe journey home, Rusty James. Hope it goes okay. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you had a good time. And Man Cave Hobbies, get well soon. Hope, hope the surgery goes all right. And yeah, hope everyone has a good Christmas. I'm sure I'll hear from most of you before Christmas anyway. But if I don't, have a great Christmas. Cheers, Mark Gordon. Have a great Christmas and Happy New Year. But I'm sure I'll hear from you before then anyway. But if I don't, if something happens... If my PC suddenly crashes, which it shouldn't, then yes, there probably won't be anything. But anyway, take it easy, Mr. Sweet's House Gumbio. Thank you once again, Ox, Celtic Knight, Mr. Rusty James, Heath, Yo Blow, all of you. <laughs> have a great, and Nebshin and Anish Blind. Have a great, great time. And Karen. Thanks for tuning in, Karen, and Early as well. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you when I see you, which might be sooner.
<laughs> anyway, take it easy, cutie outro. Take it easy, guys. You're the best. Take care.